We are live, and I am all wet. Ooh, boy, you a dirty boy, Rob. Dirty boy, <laughs> dirty boy alert. Okay, well, gotta clean this boy off. Yeah, boy. Ooh. Uh, so here we are playing Ooh. Power Wash Simulator, I guess. Get me, Rob. Get my back. I dirty. <laughs> oh, thanks, Rob. There we go. All, should all, should be all good now. Oh, thank you, thank you, Rob. <laughs> Wait, how did the, how did the gnome get up here? I put him up there. Oh, okay. You can so uh, you can pick up like some objects. Uh, people were uh, I didn't have a good title for this. I wrote Dirty Tuesdays, and then in the chat people got um, the Clean Boys. So that was pretty good. But then someone said, no, the Dirty Boys. I was like, that's pretty good. And then uh, Zicken said, clean fun with the Dirty Boys, which I think it might, I think that might be it. Clean fun with the Dirty Boys. Welcome to it. our new Power <laughs> Power Watch Simulator co-op stream. <laughs> I also saw people, uh, it seems like the ska track I picked out, or the uh, Lo-fi ska jaunty track with uh, horn section, which seems redundant with ska. Uh, seems like it was divisive. Let us say. No, people. Uh, Kato's not here, and uh, Rob and Patrick may play, and that in yeah. that includes play whatever licensed music that's in we, the uh, file that clearly Kato and Ren don't play. Yeah, we look. There's an entire. There's there's an entire. Uh, galaxy of music out there on Audio Network, and uh, we just want to share it with you. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, Power Simulator, a game I played a little bit. You'll hear about that on Waypoint Radio, and that goes live later today. Uh, oh, Rob, you did it! You, I heard it! I, I heard a little jing! Ooh, I'm, sh I'm shaking to my core. Oh, man, this... Uh, th so you, this is the tutorial section. You asked me how to rotate a nozzle, which I told you was R. Can I watch that happen in real time? Can you hit R? Oh yeah, I did. No, stay uh, where yeah. you are. Oh yeah, look, look down at me. All right, yeah. Yep, yep. I see it. Ooh. Your nozzle's rotating. Uh, hmm, hmm. The okay, no now. The dirty, the, the dirty, the dirty boys get into nozzle rotating. <laughs> All right, this is the this uh, is the tight focused one. Yeah, okay. Okay, so if you flick through, obviously uh, your mouse wheel. We're playing on the PC. It's on Game Pass, on Xbox, and PC. Yeah. It's also on Steam. Um, if you hold two, you will get your weapon wheel. <laughs> um, if you if you get confused on like as you're feeling out, uh, yeah, the, like the color scheme. Um, if you want something specific. Uh oh, um, Patrick, that I'm seeing something on the on the weapon wheel that looks like there's little attachments for like spraying out chemicals. Yeah, so I haven't gotten that far yet. Oh, so man. I've only made it to the second area. I wanted to. I only played enough to talk about it on the podcast, and then uh, I, I wanted to discover that. I want to discover that with you, my fellow dirty boy. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna. You can see you got the uh, the meter in the corner. Um. I assume that like as you get more advanced or in the challenge sections that are about time, like the material will matter, right? I assume like certain nozzles maybe react better. Right. To certain uh. But in general, much as in my real life uh, power washing, it is to start wide oh, uh, and then narrow. Okay, but I've already like there's an issue with that, Patrick. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm using a 40 degree nozzle, but it is so much less pressure than the other one, and yeah. so I thought I would just be able to like completely like rinse off this side this panel of the van, and that's not happening. Uh, because it's lower pressure. Um, so I gotta be really more deliberate about this now. Uh, and you're aware of the tab button, correct? No, I'm not. <gasps> oh, it's like a heat map for dirt. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's like I'm shining a UV light in here. Ooh. Uh, and you know you can hit control twice, crouch, and then go prone. So you can okay. really get down there, uh, yeah. get down and dirty. But I can also jump. Ooh, I, I'm I'm floaty. Oh, Patrick, there's an entire roof up here. There is. That was that was one of the sections I was unaware of when I was doing this the first time. I was wondering what I was missing. Oh wait, now hold on. If the, how good is the simulation? Because 
the, you you want to start with the roof first, really, because dirt rinses Cause down. Because the dirt's gonna go down. Yeah, right? but I, I I bet you this game doesn't have that. Um, the mistakes. I remember one of the first times I power washed at, uh, at my house. I the most satisfying power washing is on concrete. You know, wood is uh, wood is still satisfying, but concrete is the most just you can just see the dirt peel away. And so I did my downstairs uh, kind of like under deck patio area where a bunch of the kid stuff is stored and I was like this is gorgeous now and then I did the deck upstairs and was like this is gorgeous now and then I went downstairs and went all that dirt's down here now <laughs> yep <laughs> I didn't quite backslide because it's you know you're kind of just spraying it off at that point but uh it was an early lesson in order are you, of operation. are you standing on the hood to rinse the yeah there's no as far as I can tell there's not a damage model in this game okay um so you don't have to worry about... Oh, then, okay, then fuck this. Yeah, yeah, just get on up there. Just... Wait, I'm, I'm sliding. <laughs> I, think I'm, I think I'm falling off. Patrick. Hey, just a bunch of dirty boys just getting up to no good. <laughs> dirty boys and their hijinks. Oh! -ho -ho! Uh, so, yeah, it is... It is... You know, I am, uh, as I was saying on the podcast, or as you'll hear, I'll repeat some of it here. I, I'm i not big on the, like, real-life sim stuff. You know, that goes as far back as not particularly caring for a game like The Sims, despite understanding the appeal. Right. Like, games like Gas Station Simulator and their ilk. Like, essentially, I don't know what, like, the normie core? Like, I don't know what, I don't know what we're calling this genre of... Uh, like reality sim. Yeah. Um, there's essentially like just doing a checklist thing uh, in a video game that frequently when I read about it, it's a thing that people don't even enjoy doing in real life <laughs> or are actively put, put, putting off doing in real life. Right. Ooh, this bump, the state of this bumper, Patrick. See, at some point, it's like, you know, you guys haven't played, uh, you know, Hard Space Shipbreaker co-op. That, there's so many things that could go wrong in that. And I, I under, I, I'm with you. I understand that appeal. But part of what seems joyous about doing this with Rob is usually we're, our, our chaotic energy is trying to uh, mildly upset one another. Yeah. Uh, in various forms. And it's like, we can't do that here. I mean, no. I can kind of push you around with my hose, but it's. The dirty boys are just getting clean. This is all good fun. Yeah. Are, so, how do I see what's left? Uh, so tab, and then you're basically like, oh, I'm going to see if you can find it. I'm going to let Rob try and figure this one out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Keep. Just think about that some more. Ooh. Ooh. What are we missing? Uh, uh, there's a way to bring up a list. Uh, aha! Eventually, it just tells you. Okay. Headlight, so, hub camp, tire with a Y. Yeah, it's. Uh, they're giving us. To, they're using the racing words. Peregrine twenty three. Is this just reverse platoon? What do you mean tire is the correct spelling with a Y? Is that true? No. Did it's we just Ameri the, it's just Americans the... fuck that up? No, it's it's all. I mean, it's all it's all a matter of opinion, really. Like, so you're so I'm um, in the video game, video game argument. You're still team T I R E. Uh, I mean, no, not really. I so, <laughs> uh, I've been I've been speaking F one for so long that now like, tire with a Y and curb with a K E look normal to me. Oh, there's little text messages. Okay, so it's like, is this extraordinary Dr. Power Wash? All right, so our friend Harper uh, is giving us a new job. Okay. Um, hey, can I uh, can I uh, blow your mind with a, another feature? Yeah, what? All right, so hit C. <gasps> what? Oh, my God. Yeah. Um, so this would be useful in, like, getting, like, some hyper-specific areas that... Uh, what is the spot that we missed? We did yeah, everything, is... but we're still at 99. We are, we're not... 
Sometimes it's like kind of underneath. I'm hitting tab. Where are you? Hi. Oh, it says we're done. It says we're done. Oh, oh, we just hit a hundred. Okay. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah. But it was not. It, okay. All right. So, um. All right. So now we're on to a new mission. Clean the yes, back. Yes, we're garden. in your game, so you're you're gonna take us to to the next one, which is the one I just started uh, yesterday. Yeah, clean the back garden. We're, we're going to Muckingham. Hey, Doc, hope you like a challenge. I'm pretty sure I've got the dirtiest backyard you've ever seen. That's Ooh. not me bragging, by the way. I had nothing to do with it. I've just moved Tell back to town for a bit to help my folks. We're both down to their last knee and rented what I thought was a great little place. Should have questioned why there weren't more garden picks in the ad. They must have bred rhinos in here or something. Anyway, my girls are itching to get out there, and I don't want them still itching when they get that when they get back inside. So please do your thing. Thanks a lot, Cal. All right, yeah, we can clean this up. The dirty boys are on the case. We need some sort of sounds like a job for the dirty boys, and then I need like some sort of sound cue to play. <laughs> Are those in our audio libraries? So what? What? Uh... So this is just a nightmare. Like what I don't understand is, just on a practical level, the house. Maybe someone came and did the house first, but the house is pristine looking, and then just there's a dividing line where it looks like a bomb went off in the in the backyard. All right, I'm gonna start on this uh, fence. Yeah, where do you want it? Where, what's what's looking good? Are you gonna start on that fence? Yeah. All right, I'll work on the fence over here on the left. You know. Yeah. Um, so people are going to hear a version of this uh, on the podcast, but the podcast isn't out yet, and so we can double up a little bit. But you yeah. told a story about you power washing um, as a kid. Uh, yeah. I wonder, I wonder if you could uh, regal the folks with a little bit of that. Well, so yeah, so I don't, so I, and probably incorrectly, uh, I thought power washers are bullshit. Uh, because my main, my main encounter with one growing up was, um, after some years around like the time I was, uh, you know, 11 or 12 years old, I think, uh, the, pe the, the siding on our house was kind of peeling and kind of peeling is an understatement, right? It was just like huge, uh, like almost like glacial shelves of paint were just like peeling off the the side and you stick your hand under it and like bunch of it would slough off and really we should have just taken advantage of that and not touched it and just like used the dry peeling uh like siding to our advantage the paint but instead my dad was like you know what's gonna make this uh, an absolute snap is a power washer and so we went to like uh i don't know one of those places that lets you um like a Home Depot or a Lowe's. Yeah, it was like a True Value or something back then. Yeah. Oh, true. Oh, True Value. I think a True Value. That's only a Midwest thing, right? Uh, yeah, I, I think so. Um, and aren't they like they're not a na like? Yes, they're like a national chain, I think. But I feel like they're not a chain the way Home Depot is. Like I, I feel like it's like a a thing where it's, it's national, but somehow still regional. Or like actually still like each True Value is still like an individual it's like almost a franchise model but like mm. actually a franchise um but either way uh so we got we got a power washer my dad was my dad told me a whole like spiel about like here's how this is gonna go uh we are going to get this power washer and we're just going to blast the side of the house with the power washer and all that paint is just gonna get scraped away and he described it as like sort of the magical thing we see here uh, which is you just hit stuff with the power washer and all the dirt and grime. It's just like you were carving, you were like uh, like erasing a chalkboard is how he thought mm -hmm. it would go. And we did it and the power washer didn't do shit. Uh, like some of it chunked off, but it was like the types of parts that we could have done with our hands. Uh -huh. Um most of what it did was, I think, kind of impacted the peeling paint into the particle board. And You'd so when we were done power washing, we basically had as much... Uh, we had as much peeling paint on as before, except now it was, like, kind of mashed into the, the soft particle board of the siding. 
And then my dad's part of this was largely over. He was like, well, I did the power washing, and I, you know, you got to do a little bit of it, but obviously we had to be careful because we didn't want to scar up the siding of the <laughs> house. Uh, and the rest, you know, because we loosened so much of it, uh, you know, what I think, you know, here's your scraper. Uh, I want you to scrape the rest of this house uh, so that we can get ready to paint it. I've never had to do this this scraping and, and you know what? I think I clumsily was engaged in it one time when it was like my dad on a lark had me and my brother help him to paint the fence. But I don't think we were actually expected to do anything. It was mostly so my mom could take a cute picture uh, with my right. dad. So I've never, but every time I have seen someone scrape paint, like I am somewhere like nails on a chalkboard really bother me. Um, and scraping paint strikes me. If maybe not doesn't produce the same sound, but, but like generates a similar sort of psychological response as I think about what it would be like. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that's right. That that was my experience. Like it was just doing that in the hot sun for like an entire month, um, and because it was particle board, like. It was old cheap siding. This is the real problem. It's the, it's the particle board. Um, you're, you're scraping it, and it's so soft that the scraper just kind of sinks into it. And uh, so you end up just kind of like having to shave the entire house with, uh, with a scraper. And, uh, but from my dad's perspective, what was I complaining about? He used the power washer. It was easy. All I had to do was get it across the finish line. The power washer had uh, done the hard work. <laughs> I mean, that is sometimes the... A power washer is the kind of tool, because it is so aesthetically pleasing, that it can convince you you've done something when when maybe you haven't. <laughs> I mean, you have, but not not in the way that you think you have. Yeah. Uh, I should also note, I don't know if this actually impacts uh, the cleaning process uh, on this stage, but you can leave footprints. I don't know if that's creating additional mud, or if that is just sort of like a cute... Um, yeah. Because yep. it doesn't seem like I can walk in mud and then create new tracks on things that I've already cleaned. Like, once it's, like the thing is cleaned, it is taken off the bill of goods. Maybe there'll be a mod at some point, and someone who's like, look, I want my dirt to act like it's supposed to, and I, that dirt needs to <laughs> travel with my players and repopulate uh, as they as they move throughout. Uh, but I think after we finish this area, we should we should check out the store, you know, kind of yeah. see what we can buy, get upgrades. Oh, people are the people are under figured out why I'm looking confused. Because uh, I was like, why isn't it telling me the trellis is done? And it's because the other side. Yeah, that is one thing that I wish the... You no, know, it's nice that you have this, this heat map for the... Uh, for the dirt. But I almost wish you could get a better sense of, like, how the game is judging individual components. Because there will be times... I mean, I was... This is, like, something I mentioned on the podcast, where I was, like, right before the podcast started, I was, like, desperately trying to... I'm going to solve this puzzle now. Is this, like, shed over here? Oh, there's a cat. Well, that cat left. Could I have shot that cat Did you the spray water? the cat? No, I didn't have enough time to even think about it. Well, it comes have. back, I expect you to spray it. Can I get up here? Can I, can I that's, use the... That's an outdoor cat. That, that cat needs to learn that it needs to go the fuck inside and leave local wildlife alone. Oh, uh, also uh, useful, uh, if you hit the right mouse button, it will keep the the spray going. Oh, nice. So if you're just, you know, if you're going to be just like going through like a long section, hitting the same stuff over and over, buddy, you don't know how to hold that mouse button down. Yeah. Don't put it back. Let the power washer do the work. That was the theory. That's what I was told. <laughs> oh, wait. Wait, hold on, though. I was like, how am I going to get to the top of this thing? I'll bet I just have to move my little stepladder. Oh, are you using the stepladder? I'm about to. Hell yeah. 
That makes sense. Yeah, there we go. Like, the setup out here is still very confusing. Like, why is this lawn... Is this lawnmower just been out here in the yard? Getting dirty? Maybe. Doesn't seem like you might Honestly, I think we're helping a squatter uh, move in. I think that's, that's what's happening. <laughs> yeah, it's unclear to me exactly how the... Um, where the world building goes on this one uh, from here. Just send some emails to developers. Like, so... You, get a, you know, you get a writer on staff. You know, how... <laughs> was there a writer's room? All right, you know what? Up? We are beyond the need for footstools here, for step stools. Uh, we need to go on top of the umbrella. You're going to stand on the umbrella? Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's a sturdy umbrella. It's a very sturdy umbrella. This is... This is some real OSHA would like a word type stuff. Well, maybe we shouldn't have judged the... Um... The material out here so harshly. Oh you know, man, maybe I'm gonna have to crouch to get the rest of this. Yeah, I'm a genius. Uh, I, I don't actually know. I don't think so, but I, I have not spent enough time to really understand the minutia of this game's mechanics. But does the amount of time you spend spraying mean anything? You know what I mean? Like, when like you, there'd be speed valued here, right? So there is speed value when you're actually, you know, doing it. Where it's like if you're just moving, going by really quickly. You know, you're not necessarily going to spend enough time for the water to kind of, like, you know, rip the dirt off. I don't get the sense that's true here, but I, I don't I don't know. People are saying yeah. the nozzle is what matters the most. That I mean, that makes sense. Because the nozzle is essentially, like, the, the, you know, the angle and then the pressure. I guess it probably matters most when you're getting into, like, the challenge stuff, where you're... You'd, you would really have to... You're moving beyond just... I'm doing power washing as an, <laughs> you know, as, as just a quiet way to deal with my mental health uh, and actually treating it like a, a serious game mechanic. There we go. All right, so, ooh, I'm going to have to go prone. People are really saying they, they believe in this aimer mode, which I have not really used a whole lot quite quite yet what do you what am I to give it a go? like what the one what's where this? you hit c and you can just sort of like go to oh yeah uh well i i was forced to do it because people were like this is making me nauseous and i was like that's fair that's fair and that might be what it's like mostly there for Ah, the aim remote is mostly there for motion sickness. I guess that, that does make sense. Otherwise, you really are, like... You don't really... It's you know, sort of like... Uh, do you you actually... Do you suffer from motion sickness at all? Uh, hardly any. Um, like, it does not bother me to watch people, like, playing a Twitch shooter. Yeah, uh, me either. Um, I, I the only motion sickness I get is like when you go to a uh, like a festival, and it's like the little apples that like spin around, like in a tight circle. Over yeah, and over. sort of like the teacup ride at, at Disney. Yes, the tea, yeah. yes, exactly the teacup ride. Like that's the only thing that gets uh, me. Uh, my wife has really gnarly motion sickness, and that motion sickness has only gotten more acute as she's gotten. Uh, older to the point where I used to be the only the one who always drove because I like driving, and now I have to constantly give up driving to her because oh, cause she can't be passenger. I mean, even just like short rides to the Costco will result in at the end her going, "Well, I feel like shit," and I'm like, "But if she's driving, right. she doesn't that that doesn't happen." Yes, uh, I forget how this like the I am more prone to so I am a bit more prone to that. Like I find it way easier to be driving a car um than being the passenger uh for that reason like that will start to get to me 
Jed cleaned. All right, I have solved the, the riddle, Rob. It was, in fact, you needed to do the entire uh, the entire thing. There's nothing them over here. I'm just going to get under this uh, this whole table here. Got to... Gotta get these flagstones looking nice. Um, tell you what, so the other thing that was like one of my chores growing up was washing the cars. Mm, um, yes, I did have to do that. And so that's the other thing is I have. Sometimes it was nice, like a really nice day. I didn't mind washing the car so much, um, but by and large, uh, man, like playing this game is just—I can feel how soggy and wet my shoes are. I don't like it. <laughs> Did you also have parents that would do like the giant jug of iced tea that would oh, yeah. sit yeah. out in the, in the yard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I've. I've never been like a tea guy, like iced tea or otherwise, but boy, my mom was an iced tea person. And there would just, in the summer, the moment it was hot enough, which is like, hell yeah, put that, get the sun tea, uh, get that out there as soon as possible. Yep. No, that was. No, my parents lived for that shit. I feel like I need to give tea, iced tea, another chance. I didn't really. I think I so strongly associate it with my parents or my, and my mom specifically. And not in a way that's like reject the things that your parents love. I just never, like, it just never came up. It was just, I graduated from pop to beer, and like, yeah. I just and coffee came became like sort of a mandatory part of uh, getting by in the day. But I like tea, like iced tea, never. I just like never had a moment for it. No, I've never been much for it. Like. I have nostalgia for like sun tea, um, but even back then, I was it was more like, who would sun tea when uh, <laughs> beer or seltzer right, is available? Right, right, yeah. And for me, it's like uh, I would love to hydrate with this delicious Coors Light um, that will go in my system and out my system uh, and leave me thirstier than I started. Well, that's that is the, that is the thing. I think we, I. Uh, I do not drink as much as I used to, and especially I don't. Uh, I am more keenly aware of it. Like, you know, what's the most refreshing thing on a hot day? It's just water. Just drink that yeah, water. No, I yeah. the The only time these days that I do any sort of, well, I'm drinking at an hour that would be considered an issue uh, is when I golf. Uh, other than that. Uh, yeah, I, I stick to water till the sun starts to go down. <laughs> hmm. Uh, Potato says, you grow up in Tennessee and every iced tea you know has sugar in it. It's impossible yeah. to pivot to unsweet. That sounds like that would be a difficult pivot to make. Um, but I also understand why, like, again having tasted sweet tea how could you possibly uh hey. go back how's that uh oh so you're working on the floor now huh how's that yeah going? it's going well going well working on this backyard i just got this uh nice little swing chair swing working out If, uh, if power washing didn't hurt my back so much, it does seem like an activity that if you had to do like a manual labor activity all day, there could be worse ones than power washing. But I, I have found that uh, power washing does a number on my does a number on my back now. <laughs> it's like I get into hour four of power washing the backyard and it's like, well, this is no longer holds the charm that it did yeah. earlier today. <laughs> Dude, like, do I need to do this corner of the of the patio, or is that just going to be a? I'll notice there that are, if that's dirty. Thing. Oh, what did I just do here? I entered a loadout screen by tapping E. Oh, wait a second here. 
Can you change anything? I don't. No, think but it implies buy. I can see like we get a better power washer is, is I think one thing that's being promised mm. here. Uh, do, do, do there are like areas in which I can just feel myself aging at at a breathtaking pace? Uh, the other day I took Mina out for a walk and it was really hot, like it's been, and I put in the uh, like hip pocket of my uh, vest the little dog water bottle, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so, what do you figure that thing holds? Like two, two, three cups of water tops. Sure, that sounds about right. Shoulders been fucked up ever since uh, <laughs> because just that little bit of weight, uh, like on and behind my left hip, threw me off. And now, like midway through the walk, even I was like, Jesus Christ! Like my entire left shoulder is like seizing up to the collar. Um, all just from carrying. A little, a little water bottle for my poodle. Well, I like definitely entered the phase, so I'm 37 now, and uh, of like, on a reliable basis, like every six months, like a little thing goes wrong in your body, and then it's like, yeah. well, we'll give that 40 hours, and then we'll just see where we're at, and then that's like the threshold of like, do I need to ask someone about this, or is this just bodies just do weird stuff now, and then they just kind of revert back to their status quo. Like I had, I just woke up one day and I just had this like pull in like the back of my ankle. Like when you like go down to stretch, didn't make a lick of sense. Uh, hadn't done anything strenuous, but like it had the kind of striking pain that like, oh man, like I must've maybe, maybe torn something. And I don't know how I could have done yeah. that while I was sleeping, but I don't know. Give that 48 hours. And it was like, well, I don't know where that pain went, but it's gone now. Yep. <laughs> Not gonna worry about that one till it comes back. I mean, like I'll tell my doctor, like I have my my physical coming up, and it's like I was like, so my foot hurt at one point, and then it stopped. And my guess is she won't even take a note of that. No, nope. <laughs> because once you're past thirty-five, that stuff j just happens. When I had my um uh. I had a hernia, which I got surgery for, because you have to get surgery yeah. for it. It does not. It's a like a tear in your groin area that does not. Yeah, that does, does not. not fix itself. Um, yeah. that requires surgery. Um, but normally, happens at least for men, at a much uh, older age than thirty-four or whatever it happened to me. Uh, and the first thing my doctor says uh, is, uh, "Hey, are you doing any weightlifting?" And I was like, "Are you joking?" He's like, "No, it's just, like the most common way." That this happens to people your age, I was like, no, <laughs> no. Uh, I mean, do your kids count? Well, that's what, that's what we ultimately determined was that it was probably uh, I wasn't shifting, like I wasn't, like my legs were maybe like too far in, and I wasn't like distributing the load properly for my back, and that maybe that like lifting my kids up at a certain point might have done it. That's not a particularly impressive way to get no. that injury, but. Um, I mean, I was told that... You well, say you rescue your kids or something. Yeah, well, they said, like, you're going to tear it at some point. And in theory, the surgery is lifelong. So, like, hopefully you're just done. And I'm like, well, yeah, that sounds good. Uh, I need your little piece of equipment. Bring this on over. Bacon Game 76, just lie and say it was from a sex thing. Well, you know, I got two kids. It's in the, it's yeah. in the ballpark, but... Uh, I, I then I would have to tell that story to my wife, and I think I'd be laughed at. So um, there'd be like broader implications of uh, implying that to my yeah to my doctor. Yeah, then she's like on the hook to like back up the lie. Oh yeah, you know Patrick. Yeah, or we're getting or such we're getting athletic sex. Or we're getting different questions, huh? Yeah. Where exactly are these maneuvers coming? <laughs> Or, like, suddenly, like, people in your friend group are like, so were they just telling us a weirdly personal story just because? Or you think they were like, <laughs> uh... Yeah, sorry, it was just, you know... Is this kind of what we like your vibe baby, thing? you gotta get creative. Busted a hernia in the process. I feel like this fire pit is sootier than just the uh, flagstones over here. I feel like I might need to punch it up a bit. Uh... We didn't have anything we needed to do with this side of the, the fence, right? Like this, 
No, this is all good. So this house is fine. It's just this fire pit. Oh, shit. New type woman subbing. Thank you for subbing. Subscribe for 13 months. Thank you for subscribing for 13 months. Um, new type woman says, just got it. How y'all enjoying the washing? Oh, we're enjoying it. Telling stories? Busting hernias? This is delightful. Frankly, doing this isn't too dissimilar. The last time that I, I just kind of played an inconsequential game and chatted with someone uh, was... I did uh, Billy Berghammer, who used to work at a bunch of Nintendo sites, and then I worked with a G4, and is now working at Treehouse uh, Nintendo. And we played through, like, all of Diablo 3 on PS4 um, and the expansion. I cannot tell you a single fucking thing about those like 25 hours i played yeah uh because it didn't it didn't matter like thing was dinging and we whacked the thing and then we would whack the next thing and like it is eerie how similar this sensation an entire dynamic is to a game that in theory has more complex mechanics <laughs> but 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 in practice for at least how i used it uh was exactly the same Uninvincible, y'all y'all gotta soap this pond up. We're gonna that's the the soap is next on the agenda. We don't we have not investigated our options. Do we even have soap? No, I think we need to purchase it. But we have earned money after these. Um these jobs. Of course, am I just doing this to earn money for Rob? I don't know how the career tracker uh, we're, we're uh, it's called being days. being an employee. <laughs> oh, oh, you own the you own the business. I'm not. This isn't a co-op. Uh, no, I am. Like in in terms of the in terms of like the uh, like incorporation paperwork, I am the dirty boy. <laughs> so you're the dirty boy, but I'm cleaning up the dirt. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Also, I pay you in cash uh, at the oh, end of each shift. Oh, no! At the end of each shift. Stop stealing uh, my tips to... And if anything happens... for someone to paint a room a little bit cheaper. What if I paid you all in cash? <laughs> if, any, if anything happens, Patrick, uh, uh -huh. when you go to the hospital, just, like, say you were doing some work around your own house. Um, You know, I shouldn't even been fucking with the uh, wider angle. You know what? The the higher pressure one is so much more efficient. So I'm, are you? I settle in like on the the green is like my my nice. It's like green to red is like frequently the jump I'm making. Yeah, the the yellow is just the king of the power washing things. It's like not even close. Last Galaxian. Hope Patrick's character doesn't get a hernia in game. He's screwed. Uh, so, I'm just thinking, like, there should, like, for instance, if I really power washing, isn't there a good chance I just completely demolish the turf in this yard? Well, so that's that is what this game eliminates. Like, power washers are extremely like I'm sitting here spraying a birdhouse with a power washer and. I guess if you have, like, depending on the power washer you have, the amount of nozzles you have, the amount of pressure you have, but frequently power washers, especially on the cheaper end, like the kinds of ones you see just sitting out at Home Depot, you don't have any control. It's just turn on, shoot water. Um, because for the vast majority of cases, people are using it primarily to just, like, wash things that, like, the, the, the power doesn't matter as much. Right. Like, I'd be fucking wrecking this bird, this bird now. Uh, Disco Bandit is a power washing party game with human flat uh, fall flat physics would be amazing. Uh, yeah, I a game that had like a little more of a wrecking angle to it uh, would it be a different game. That's not like this game has a very. What if what if we turned against each other? Because it was like, look what you did. You scarred <laughs> you scarred this house. Well, that's what I mean. I think in the, in the co op game that could have some really funny. Yeah implications especially if you could have like an employee employer relationship 
Uh, sorry, uh, Patrick. That's gonna. We're gonna have to dock your pay. That's that's actually gonna come out of your pay this week. Uh, I did see. I, I I don't have it. I can't see it right in front of me. But people were highly recommending that to not really worry about the soap if we we're looking to min max. Uh, <gasps> look, we're getting Rob. We're converging. We're coming together. Yeah. Oh, look. I'll help you, bro. I got you. We're both gonna use this yellow one or this orange one. Oh. That's a double ding. We're doing it. We're doing it. Yeah. Oh, that feels good. Rob, we should have been doing this earlier. All these dings are so satisfying. Oh, wait, Patrick. There's so much dirt in the edges here. Rob, it doesn't... So when you clear something... That doesn't mean you've cleared all the dirt. Okay. But if you want to get in there, like a real dirty boy. I um, can't, yeah, I can't leave this you. like this. I can't. That makes sense. I, I appreciate your, your attention to detail. All of the dirt? But does it actually clean every spot of dirt or is it just approximating what 99% is and clearing the rest? Uh, I, I have to do chat. No, hold on. So I just got a big completion because I was down here doing this. Yeah, okay. The remnants disappear. So when it dings, Rob, the game just decides arbitrarily for you. You did it, buddy. I... And you know what? That is in some ways incredibly smart because can you imagine? So I don't have any sort of like OCD tendencies, but if you did in a game like this, you found satisfying because of the dings... If it didn't remove the dirt, like, you would just oh, keep yeah. hitting tab, and you would just be here. You would just live here. They should put that in as a mode, though. Oh, oh, Patrick! I didn't even come close to doing this fi fire pit appropriately. No, all right. Let me. Get oh, in we here. need to get in here. This is all hands on deck. Yep. This textured surface is just chaotic. This would be part of our. This would be part of our commercial. Look at the dirty boys. Crossing the streams. They'll do that for you. Is this a fire pit? Is it a pond or... Oh, you know what? I mean, this is a water feature. Yeah. But I just figured from all the dirt that somebody used it as a fire pit. Yeah, yeah we got it! <laughs> dirty boys! Dirty boys! Dirty boys! It's really good that my wife is working from home. Like, I don't know how much travels from my office to up to her, but sometimes I wonder. But how, how actually delightful would it be if a a, a, a company called the Dirty Boys show, like showed up at your house and they're out there just like fist pumping and just like losing their minds as they, as they complete their tasks? I would love that. Next Waypoint stream, Rob, we're going to rent a power wash. And we're going to have someone from the Waypoint community... Bring us a, a dirty car for us to clean. Waypoint comes to you. Would you like us to permanently damage your back? Oh, yeah, no, you'd have to, like, everyone has to roll off with, like, a waiver. Sorry. <laughs> like, you're going to have to tell us that if, like, we accidentally, like, carve our initials in your car... <laughs> Uh, that, that's cool. Yeah, sorry, we had to put the waypoint insignia somewhere back here. The dirty boys will be remembered. The dirty boys will ride again. Thank you. Ooh. 
Oh, so that counts all of that. Okay, 98%. Um, ooh, I guess I didn't... I don't think I fully cleaned this. Gotta get into these crevices. Yeah, the... So there's parts of this, like, some, this model that, like, you know... But the... Like, it's not super... Like, the way dirt just kind of, like, vanishes in the ether. But yeah. the way these little, like, textured surfaces with their crannies works is very good. Yes. What am I missing? Oh, that's what I'm missing. What are you missing? Oh, got it. What? I didn't look underneath this little. Oh one. yeah, you gotta get that. You gotta get that swing right. Oh yes, that's, that's a ding. <laughs> Patrick, there's dirt hiding on this on this pond. Did this not here. ding? Oh, it didn't. I'm in. The dirty boys are here to hit a hundred. The dirty boys are here for a hundo. Getting down in these cracks. Yeah, oh. there we go. All right, what are we missing? Ooh, this fence. Together. Get this. I get this in a red. I get that red. Get in that. Dirty boys just hooting, hollering. Oh, I think is this why the, the dirty boys doing keg stands? <laughs> uh, all right, we did those three. Ooh. Hey, do you want to do this last one together? Get over here, you dirty boy. What do we got? As you as you slowly crouch across the yard. What do we got? Uh, this one right here. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Is that not it? Oh, there's still spots over here on the shed. I guess the shed is not fully uh, cleansed. Yeah, there we go. Window cleared, all right. That door, yep. There we go. Oh, oh, the star, the star needed to be cleaned. Um, oh, there's still more spot. I'm Look, Rob, you, man. yeah, this is ah, oh, these rocks. Wait, what? Oh, you got okay, no. pond rim, but there is still. I'm going under. Yeah, there we right, go. Pond wall cleared. <gasps> Wait, these little thought. Look, Patrick, look at this. Look at this mess I left. Oh, no, bro. Oh, look at that. It's all right. I go high. You go low, bro. There's a, oh, this tiny little bit at the top of the dog. Doghouse. That's not a dog. Well, yes, <laughs> yes, sorry, yes. Spray this dog. Um. Okay, wait a second here. This is. Oh, right here. Gas supply. Oh, whoa, 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 Patrick, Patrick. Yeah. What? How what? How carefully did we attend to this grill? Uh, no, I see some more marks. You're right. You know what? That's my bad, bro. I think I saw one ding go off and then just assumed I was good. Oh, man. This is really... This has got to be it. Control panel. Oh, wow. Individual components of the grill. Gas supply. get under this thing trolley cleaned all right i'm looking at the menu birdhouse birdhouse stand all right 
Courthouse Dan. Ooh, underneath. That's it's the underneath sometimes. Yeah. Uh, birdhouse, ninety four percent. Birdhouse still. Oh, you did what? You know, you and these little top trim pieces, Patrick. Uh you know what? You put it on my performance review. Well, we don't document things like that at uh, Dirty Voice. <laughs> Doghouse roof, barbecue, bar barbecue. <laughs> ah, the barbecue, the barbecue patio trim. What little? What the fuck? Oh, that's right here. I see. Think I got it? Oh, there so they it have is. Grubby little mitts all over this. And then the dog. The dog handle. is like ninety-eight percent. Doghouse. Doghouse roof, retaining walls, garden chairs, lawn mower. I'm in hell here. What am I? You know what this really simulates, though. Hmm. Uh, so one other thing I hated doing chores for my parents, but especially my dad, but really both of them, is that. They held me to a standard that they themselves God. would never come close to achieving. Oh, hundred percent. Like, oh, this, you didn't. It's like didn't, having the fun of having children, though. You got to get it. Oh, you you think these wheels are clean? See, you got to get a toothbrush yeah, in brush here and twice a day, yeah. always, every single time, never skip it. Ninety-seven percent. The garden chairs. Are those those things by the uh, fence posts, fence tops, flower bed edgings? Oh, I I just didn't even get this one worth shit. Flower bed edges. Is this? Oh, I see. Okay. Um, Swing so only a couple. Uh, Nine nine percent retain. What's the retaining wall, 99%. Oh, I see one over here. Oh, yeah, Patrick. See, I, I solved the case of the sofa cushions. Oh, did you get in there? Dude, I was spraying that oh, for no, ages. You, yeah, I know, but it's these little crevices, man. Fence posts. Patrick, so it's the whole thing about caring about your work. Uh, take a little pride in it. You know, this is how I publish articles several times a week, and you put out an essay once a month. Yeah. Well, listen, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta do all the like ideating and managing, <laughs> uh, and all that shit. Where is the last fence post? The name of my new post-apocalyptic drama, The Last Fence Post. Oh, got it. All right, we retain. All right. Oh, that's Rob. You know what is so satisfying so is getting that little thing in the corner, which is like, hey, baby, you're you've almost just got, done. You've got three. Dude, this is like. Spaghetti, demolish that sofa. Hey, that's how I got the hernia. <laughs> uh, sofa. All right, Rob. We're just gonna have to. I wanted to say, I said I was going to say double team this, but I don't. <laughs> okay. Uh, um. <laughs> I, uh, I, well, hold, Rob, on, can hold, we, on, hold on, hold on. I just on. want to it's talk to always, my 16 year old it's this, self. It's, and it's this. Just like, it's this. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. The dirty boys are on the cage. You want, you, you want to tell what yourself is, about. The, the... Yeah, what well, is like you're making shitty, dirty jokes on a stream where you're shooting water to power water. I just like, yep, this is where you're going to end up. Flower bed edging. So is that these bricks?
The problem is because it's 99%, you're just... Oh, nicely done. We got one. It's a flower let's bed. Go. Oh, I see it. Yeah, there we go. I see it. Hell yeah. Let's go. Ready? Ready? Yep. Let's finish this motherfucker. Yeah. Boom. This backyard is clean. Hey, Natalie's in the chat. What's up, Natalie? Don't you got a game coming out? The dirty boys are at it again. The dirty boys right again. The dirty boys right again. Oh, oh, and then there's a little time lapse we watch. Like, look at us go. Oh man, there's so much purpose and like reason Can I get to a our DB in the chat. DB, 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 DB. All right, we nailed it. All right, now. Yeah, DB's in the chat. There's okay. So in in my tablet, do you have access to a tablet? Uh, I do. Okay. So you can, like, can you access the store screen? Ah, yes. Clothing. $50 gloves. Well, you got to make sure they're good. Oh, okay, man. so, okay, so this is, I, I see. So modifications. Um, so is this just... That just looks cosmetic. Personalized look of your washers makes sense. So, is there anything to? Yeah, I'm curious for folks. Do we? Natalie Watson is gifting a tier one sub to Charlie Walnut. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> There's functional attachments. So, do we just need to unlock that? Do we have to play more? No. Hold on here. Uh, so, I've got. Let's see. We got power washers. We got equipment. Do you have an equipment tab? You, you tab over using the little arrow keys on the right and left side of your display when you're in the store? Or you just hit the store have, button to go home? I don't home. have that. You don't have Hold it? On. Show, go, go back. Okay, so this is me. I just clicked on the store tab. And I got this equipment menu. Yeah, dude, all I get is clothing and modifications. Oh, man. So am I just... No, cause it's, I think it's because it's your session. But then, do I? Am I the only one who gets? Oh, my okay. Shit? Backbone twenty two and co op. The partner gets whatever the host has. Okay. Okay. okay so, so what? Um, hold on. I believe Pat. I saw earlier. People said to really invest in just being not less soap and more. Uh, be faster, more efficient. Right, but here's my thinking, then, Patrick. I think we do one more with just the default sh shit because because and have like and just go in like the next kids, power like, washer and shit. Just buy whatever we want. The next power washer is nine hundred dollars. Okay, close. let's go. The dirty boys, the dirty boys. Because then, then we can just like to give you give you an idea. Our Prime Vista fifteen hundred is rated, and this is its top rating. It excels at surface cleaning uh, with a meager six points of surface cleaning capacity. Ugh. Encrusted four, embedded three, tough. Too stubborn, ingrained, oily, nothing. Does nothing. But the Urban X U2, uh, that one goes up and to... And we need 15 stars. What are stars? Oh, shit. 15 what stars. How many stars? stars? I've got 10. We might have 15. We might, we might have 15 by the next time we go into the shop. I mean, I still think it's the right call. I think yeah. we just... The Dirty Boys ride on to the next... Uh, yeah. Okay, take this in. Where are we going next? All right, so. Oh, Asian Monroe, you will have 15 stars at the end of the next job. All right, so. Industrial. Yeah, if you perfect the next one, you get five stars. <laughs> that was not. <laughs> Come on. Come on. People are saying do not do the playground. See, imagine I'm guessing, how much. I'm guessing because that's the playground is what we'll do. Once we have our better power washers. Yeah, so we clean this. Uh, the bungalow seems like it's... Because dirt bike seems like that oily stat might kill us. Mm -hmm. I mean, we go we go back to Apple Avenue in Muckingham. So is this is this the front end of the... Does this house only have like a... Uh, <laughs> I wish hey, it was the same house. Patrick, this is the same guy. People are saying hey, dirt bike is easy. Let's go hey, back to the dirt bike. Let's see if we can get the 15 yeah. off the dirt bike. And you know what? The dirt bike just seems like 
uh, Rob, we're just going to town on that thing. Yeah. So we're going to just put that thing on orange and go... Man, see, this is why Natalie needs to finish up her game so she can come play shit like this with us. Because can you imagine, mm-hmm. like, she'd just be, like, uh, pirouetting midair, like, landing trick shots uh, with the with the power washer. And it's oh, like, we're just done. A joyous gamer would done. love to make things clean for everybody. Uh, Joe Avery, there's got to be something on my dirt bike. You see, I'm one of life's oh. winners. Every morning, oh, this is this is pure uh, American psycho shit. You see, I'm one of life's winners. Every morning, I put four slices of bread in the toaster, but only eat the slice that pops up first. When I have a coffee, I only drink the bit that wins the race to my mouth. But on this bike, I always finish dead last. I wonder if there's mud stuck in the manifest or whatever it is slowing me down. I'm also kind of superstitious, so I haven't cleaned the thing in over 15 years. Thanks. All right, here we go. Oh, we're back in the lab. The dirty boys are about to conduct an experiment. Oh, this is easy. Whoa! This guy's paying us for this? Just no, no stories, no talking, just washing. <laughs> just gotta get this fairy just, right, just, man. Just get in there. <laughs> we can't even feign interest in having a conversation. <laughs> Sorry, it's too satisfying. I'll be right with you, chat. Rob, have you ever felt like you're just in the middle of a psych exit, like some sort of like horrible, like let's find out what the dings do to the gamer brain, and I'm just sitting here going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the dirty boys are riding. Uh, the fairing? What's the fairing? I don't know how vehicles work. I thought it was like the big frame. Got it. Don't think that's going to get us over the top, but that was satisfying. That it was, like it's all great. It's all great. All right. So. Robotis egg, dirt bike, more like bike. Because the dirt is gone. DB's in the chair! Let's go, let's go, let's go. <clears throat> Alright. We're at 15. We're at 15, but only 675. Alright, that's alright. <coughs> alright. <laughs> Last Galaxian Call of Dirty. <laughs> oh, man. Oof, all this working. Uh, need to go to another job site. Let me get my, let me get my trusty thermos. Oh, yeah, uh, what's in that thermos? coffee didn't you hear the part where i like i'm like drinking makes my head ache oh i didn't know that i didn't know you were applying that to waypoint streams increasingly i am okay def me 85 gotta say i would not pay 625 just to get my brakes spray clean i guess that's the dirty boy fame tax huh <laughs> Yeah, All right, now what we, we're, we're going to tackle own, this uh, We got our own reality show. So, I think there's some weird shit here. It's the guy who we just cleaned that backyard, that rental, right? Yeah. Hey, Doc, you know I mentioned my folks? Well, I think it's time their bungalow met your war pressure washer. It's so filthy, it's hard to tell where the ground ends and the house begins. When I mentioned you to Ma, her eyes lit up. Pops moaned and said the browner the porch, the warmer the torch, which clearly <laughs> means nothing, so he's overruled. If you can give the place a good cleanup, I'm sure that'd give them both a lift. Thanks again, Cal. Patrick, this home looks derelict. Uh, someone pointed out in the chat, before you hit start job, um, do we have enough money to buy something now and still have enough money for the power washer? After this job, so after this job, it's, uh, out of this job, we would have 1100 1200 1225 right? Yeah. Okay, uh, so, so like, can we buy like a nozzle yeah. or a spray and yeah. still? All right. You we need nine. Get... Yes, lime siren. You need nine hundred dollars for the Urban X two. 
Oh, so you can buy it mid job. Like you're earning money. As what? You go. Yeah. All right. Let's just go into the mission and then yeah. we'll come back. All right. Is this also? Uh, is that a well-known saying? The brown or the porch? Is that that feels like there's a dirty joke being made, honestly. But I don't. Rob, you, Rob, oh my, Rob! There's a ladder. <gasps> Rob, you can't stop me. I'm going up. This I'm going up. Going the road. I'm going over there woof, with you, bro. Woof, 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 woof. Hang on. Actually, I'm gonna look for uh, cheapo, easy things to do. All right. Oh yeah, we're doing this roof. That's gonna be the most satisfying thing of my life. roof are you power washing though like, I don't, the shingles that are in my roof I don't think you'd be power washing those, dude okay those, so I've been watching you know I've been watching all go... that grand designs right okay they shingle their houses completely differently in the UK than they do here because like yeah mine are like you know the I don't even know what the material is but like you wouldn't spray it with water uh, I was watching this um, episode of grand designs where this lady was like, you know what I fell in love with when I was in New England? Uh, Cape Cods. Which, you know, fair. Uh, although, it's so funny to see it being treated as exotic when it's just like, the Cape Cod house is the equivalent of like the cheap ranch of Chicagoland. Yes. Uh, but anyway, so she bought, but she was like, I'm gonna get a prefab uh, like kit house, basically, where a company makes huge like modular chunks of a Cape Cod and it'll just, like, go up lickety-split. It'll be really easy. And it all kind of went to hell when it came time to shingle say, it. go up lickety and or split? It went pretty well, but when it came time to shingle it, it all turned into chaos because, like, the the roofing materials and, like, the way the tiles knit together, um, like, in the U.S., none of the builders... Uh, in the UK had seen anything like it, nor was there anything like it on the market. Uh, and so the entire thing well, so turned into a disaster. maybe what's happening here is we are, to, to our, you're in our eyes, like our sense of American suburbia, it, but this this is actually a... a this a, Yeah, this a, might be like, of course, this is how you maintain a, a roof. Interesting. I didn't really think about that. I should interview these developers. I bet there's like a lot of interesting insights about weird little details like this. I mean, you'll have to be the one to do it because I won't. <laughs> My writing days are behind me. <laughs> what Waypoint Plus unlocked for some people is more time to write. For Rob, it was finally I am finally I'm free from the tyranny of the word. <laughs> I can stop pretending that I want to write these words. <laughs> I do, though. I do. You do. You have a blog you're going to write. Well, I'm going to set a little baby blog. Little baby blog. Just a little baby, baby blog. Ooh, I tried to use a wheel, and it didn't work. Wow, okay, way to blow up my spot, Patrick. I guess now <laughs> people don't need to read the piece. <laughs> Well, didn't that happen on stream? I, I figured that was something that occurred while you were in stream. No, the, the effects of it I was dealing with on stream, but oh, uh, okay. no, right. this was after I'd already set it up. Although I'm living an entirely new life now, uh, because with the split keyboard, you know what? Oh, yeah, the steering wheel never goes now? away. Wait, so I don't, yeah, I never checked in with you after all that happened. Because you brought it home, presumably. So, no, I didn't. The setup. No, I didn't. Oh, so, okay. the, my beautiful samurai keyboard. Yeah. Still needs to be finished. Okay. But Ren did such a good job singing the praises of a split keyboard and the Ergodox layout and all that. Oh, wait, so you just bought like a pre I didn't. One? MK did. Wait, what? MK was like, I want one. And I was like, well, sure, maybe after, uh, you know, like I'm learning a lot about how to build these. Like maybe, you know, yeah, Ren and I can build two or I'll build one for you. And she was like, that'll take too long. I want one now. She's right. She's right. She's right. Um, I mean, See she's you not, in 2024. She's not wrong. Supply chain issues get better. 
So, MK uh, bought something called like the Moonlander. Okay. And it's it's basically like a real similar keyboard to the one that Ren and I are building, um, but it's like sort of pre-made. They make some choices that we wouldn't have. They probably made some choices that are better than I made, um, etc. But the thing is, it showed up. MK got real high on the idea of like customizing it. She bought like different keycaps and all that. She even toyed around with the idea of like, you know, am I gonna be happy with these? You know, all that, all that stuff. Am I gonna be happy with these yeah. switches? Yeah. Um. And then within a week, she was like, "I can't adapt to a split keyboard. This is horrible. I cannot be working at the snail's pace uh, required to type on this piece of shit." That's. I'm fairly sure that's where I would end up if I like tried to give it a genuine shot. It'd be like, aesthetically, this is cool as shit. Can I please go back to the thing that let me do my job? <laughs> so but, now it's yours. Yeah, uh, it was that or it was going to get sold. So, you know, until I finish mine, uh, I'm going to be using the Moonlander. But the thing I like about it um, is that well, and this, is the, this is just an unexpected benefit of the split keyboard, really. Uh-huh. Uh, it is compatible with just having a steering wheel living on your, uh, on your desk full-time. Because now you just put the split keyboard on either side of the, uh, the steering wheel, and you can still just, like, you know, look, like, well, you can't see, but, like, right in front of me, I got a steering wheel. I just move my hands out to the sides, work mode. I can go straight from the track to the office in like ten seconds. Wow, that's just hyper efficiency. Yeah, that's, that's what Rob is always looking for. Well, I'm happy for you. Yeah. Is it fun to type on the split keyboard? Oh. <laughs> Use different switches than I think uh, we we spec uh -huh. for. Oh yeah, that's got to be it. Um, you know, whatever you got to tell yourself. You know, in okay, so I'll say this: in some ways, it's actually easier to type on. Like, I would say I'm slower, but my error rate is also much lower. So I'm probably because faster net deliberate. net. Yeah, that might be it. But it's also like there's just like routine slips of the fingers or something that uh, I would that would happen on a regular keyboard that are just not happening with this layout. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So, like, it's got that to recommend it. That is extremely funny, though, that entire story. The, the fact that she bought one and went, this sucks ass. I just yep. gave it to you. <laughs> oh, I'm delighted. But then there was an entire, like, issue where... um. So she'd done her own layout with the type of work that she needs to do, how she wants her uh -huh. keyboard. And I played around with it for a week, and I was like, okay, there's some tweaks I need to make. And then the configurator that worked, like, seamlessly for her, and I've seen Renews on, on uh, uh -huh. like, the keyboard we're building, always seems to work fine. Didn't work on my computer. Could not get the thing to see the, uh, the Moonlander at all. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. So I, like, spent three hours Sunday night trying to remap this uh, this keyboard, which I finally did. I finally, like, got it to work, and that's that's cool. Except then, Patrick, I went buck wild. Oh, no. <laughs> so, the thing is, is... So... Nothing up to this point has been buck wild? No, no, we're not even at the buck wild part. All right. So, the thing is... Um... Also, I just want, like, for the people in the chat, having done this now for about 90 minutes, if people just wanted, like, a preview into, like, a more sober version of what Rob and I do when we get together in New York, which is just we have dinner and then drink on one of our respective hotel patios. Like, yep. this is essentially what that conversation is, just lacking the IPAs. Yep. Uh, <laughs> this is entirely it, yes. <laughs> um so the thing is Patrick this this yeah. keyboard shows up and it's got its default layout but then you have a bunch of spare keycaps uh that if you want to like just change your layout swap things around you can do that uh MK bought a bunch of additional keycaps 
um, to allow for even more like modifiability. And how, wait, so how did did she do her own like intense research? Did she just like go to a website that was like the wire cutter equivalent? No, of, no, she. Hey, it, you, I'm just curious because you and you and Ren are such similar. Uh, I guess maybe this is a broader question. When she gets, I don't know, like a bug, like a little hobby, a bugaboo, something she just like wants to scratch. Yeah. Does she do the same sort of? Yeah meticulous i'm gonna spend a whole sunday researching this little thing i'm curious about yeah so she so uh we are both we are both we have different like intensities of hyper fixation but like mm -hmm. that is both a thing that like we 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 get uh so yeah she will like completely vanish down a rabbit hole and then like figure out what she wants to do down there um, gotcha. and end up making a big investment like this. Uh, so the... Hey, shout outs. Ren got a chair. Oh, thank oh, God. Oh, hey, way to go. That's me. This is me impersonating Ren's back. Oh, thank God. Very uh, happy for your back and for you, Ren. I'm glad that you got a good, sh you got a chair. In the, in the, in the group, in the, in the group chat, Ren, uh, text, uh, text, the the store link I'm, I'm curious i won't i won't check it out right now but uh i'm very curious what you end up getting anyway uh so yeah so M mk does that shit uh he 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 hey patrick where are you i'm up on that roof yeah how's the downstairs going uh going fine are you coming up on this roof no oh, okay the ladder down. this roof's intense chat how do i feel Chat, you know what I'm trying to do. How do I do it? What is he trying? Oh, okay, I'm just gonna ignore that. I'm not gonna look at the chat. You do your dark business. Okay, can't. Okay, I can't. I, I was gonna just take the ladder away. Oh, they won't let you. <laughs> they, they won't let, let me do it. it. Is it like a sign to me? No, it's just like the I think the ladder like only exists at these like appointed parts of the level maybe. That's very funny. That would have been good. And yeah, there's I, no I fall damage, but You were saying? Um I presume I can jump off, but I haven't tried. I'm almost done with like the like the major passes on this on this roof, and then it's just detail time. It's so big though; I've gotten no dings. It's like been just a long time of just having to be satisfied with. That's yeah. Knowing that I'm working on a big job. Give me the fall damage mod though. Yeah. Like, there's got to be, like... I'm sure there are mods for this game. It seems like, absolutely that kind of game. I'm cu I am so curious what kind of mods there are. But anyway, I, w I will say, like... We had done enough research about the keyboards on stream that MK was able to sort of draft off that. And yeah, sure, I think people in chat had already mentioned, like, you know, you could just spare yourself building a keyboard and just get the next lander, uh, which mm -hmm. does the whole... Ergodox thing, but uh, is that called the next lander? I mean, the moon lander. Anyway, uh, shout out to next lander. Shout next out to lander, earlier. Great. I forgot to uh, thank uh, Abby Russell, who I'm sure is not watching anymore, but uh, the folks who were watching her, I think, play The Sims, came and raided us earlier in the stream. Shout outs. Thank you. But, but yeah, so lander. yeah, so uh, you know. Anyway, so I went buck wild because I was like, all right, now I've used this thing for a week. I know I want to set it up. But Patrick, the thing is, you open the configurator, mm -hmm. and you can just do anything, including assign layers. Of, well, so, so first of all, you can have a button that toggles between layers, uh, so that like, okay, now the keyboard is just in this different mode, uh, where the buttons are now mapped to different functions. Mm -hmm. But the other thing you can do is you can assign like little gestural controls, and you know how gestural controls always work amazingly on phones. <laughs> what if you had a million yeah, of those? What I, what I love about gestural controls is you can't turn them off, and so then when my two-year-old just like whacks at the iPad trying to get it to just play a video, it you know 
switches into like a dual app mode or some other weird shit. So the problem is, I was like, you know, it'd be awesome and efficient. Oh, I'm gonna yeah. bind a whole all bunch of Rob things. So, yeah, like we all just like tap keys on a keyboard, um, uh, like like, like, yeah, like a bunch of like cavemen. Monkeys. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But what if you assigned a different command to if you just hold that key? Hmm. And so I was like, I'm not what? going to test how this works. I Wait, so for so instance, like it, the the implication being. Like, well, Patrick. I, love to hit the, I love to hit the R key to hit R, but what if I held R and it restarted my computer? No, you, I mean, I don't think so. I think that'd be, that'd be a macro. It'd be very dangerous. You wouldn't do that. Okay. Uh, and I don't think you could, but... Okay. For instance, do you ever just hate having to, like, hold shift to go between quotation marks and the apostrophe? Doesn't that just piss you off? Like, you know, like this oh, sucks. Just... I know. We're just, you know, usually yeah. we're, we're just always compl look. If you did a, a control F in our Discord messages, just it's everywhere. You can just hold the apostrophe key, and boom, there's your question mark. There's your uh, quotation marks. Hell yeah, Rob! For all this writing you want to do, like yeah, now exactly. You're, you're on your way, Patrick. This is why I don't do the writing because, <laughs> like, it's just too annoying. <laughs> so. Anyway, so I was like, and by the way, I like now this feature knows. Now that I know this feature exists, I'm just gonna do use it a bunch, and I've never experienced it, but I'm pretty confident I'm going to love it. So I'm going to do a whole bunch of that. <laughs> what were the consequences of your decision, Rob? Um, well, the keyboard is in some ways unusable. <laughs> uh. Binding hold for caps lock on the shift key was a terrible idea. Um, because now I keep going. I keep going into all caps mode accidentally. Oh my god! I know. I know. It seemed like a really good idea, and then it wasn't. However, it's all. Didn't I tell you about this? I told you about my M dash key, right? Maybe I told the stream this. No, we did. We did this. Yes, the yeah. M dash is is the one that an, annoys me. It's my the I. Yeah, I mean you uh, you have yes. in your document an M dash set off to the side so you can control C and control V that shit. I do. Because, I. Because, hey, I want to shoot this cat. Yeah, get his ass. Oh, it doesn't reach. Stay away from those birds. Can you hit him? Bet your ass, I can. Nope, I can't. I can see, like, the limits of the water. Like, I can see it hitting yeah. an invisible barrier. <laughs> uh, um, so anyway, so now I have a key, and it's bright red, and it's like you have to kind of, like, it's kind of in a, it would be like where the master arm switch would be on, like, a missile mm -hmm. submarine or something. That's where I bust out the M-dash. The most powerful you. of punctuation. Why is this roof not pinging? Roof, you are like, you're clean. Yeah, you need to get that so we can get the real power washer, man. I mean, come up here and look at it. The roof is, it's got spots, but like, it sure feels like it's in the wheelhouse of what this game wants. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, and as people are pointing out, on a Mac, it's super easy to do the M dash. And yes, I primarily write on a PC. Oh well, pa Patrick, this roof looks like shit. There's like I know there's a lot of small spots, but like that's impossible to not have the small spots. This is a big ass job. How many? You know what? The dirty boys shouldn't be fighting. The dirty boys should be working together to get these small spots. Well, I don't know, Patrick. Like you, you've had a lot of things to say about like the writing I do or don't do, or the way <laughs> I live my life. Rob, you walk into those traps yourself. You, That's you're true. not allowed to put that on me.
Yeah, you know what? AJ47, toxic boss energy. I agree. He's talking about you. Oh, me? Yeah. I'm your boss? Well, no, not like I think, as... we're, I think wow, because we share ownership on this stuff. Yeah. We're like our own toxic bosses. Yeah. Be the be the toxic boss you wish to see in the world. <laughs> I think maybe the I think maybe something I don't think it's the top maybe it's, I think it's the yeah top maybe it's the rest. underside yeah yeah I think something else right. has got to yeah. count against this all right I'm going down I spent a lot of time on that roof but oh yeah look at that oh look at that shit. oh wait dude uh hold on you got in the gutters uh well, the gutters uh, ping separately so the gutters you might need the um, the ladder to get some of the angles. Some of the angles are real gnarly on the, yeah, the gutters. I'm, I, I kind of gave up that. on it until I... Oh, really? Oh, nice job. I just... Got one. Yeah. All right, I'm doing all these undersides. Calvin, you can yeah. stop. The guy keeps testing. Is he... Okay, apparently even Pops is out of his rocking chair now and having a look. Calvin, you can stop pretending your parents are alive. <laughs> like nobody's alive in this house man no you tell me there's not mold all over this house we have a, a house down the street of us that's been condemned for like 18 months I just want to go I just want to go walk in it I want to see what that condemned house looks like I wonder how the garage is doing What's that shit? What that shit right? like? Yeah. Right. See, people don't know what that joke means yet, Lom. Yeah, that's true. The podcast is not up, but once it'll be very funny once you do. It'll, yeah, I'll be very. That reference will tickle you. You'll be Soon quite enough. amused. We're gonna get this. We're gonna get this roof to ding. God willing. Bungalow roof. Oh! Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. And it was only worth like sixty he bucks. What the, the fuck? <coughs> I would have expected that to be worth more, to be honest. Uh oh. Uh. Hmm. I guess it's yeah. DBs on the roof is maybe a more accurate. Reading them just happened there. Mina, hey, it's okay. Got her clean. Nice job. Uh, there was a house around the corner from us that. Somebody bought and was clearly just flipping it. They were just doing like two months of like yeah. really quick updating work. Um, and then it went on the market. This is a couple years ago. This is before the yeah all the COVID stuff. Um, but uh, it went on the market and it's kind of fun sometimes to see. We live in a like a lot of suburbia. Uh, there's a lot of houses that look like yours that mm -hmm. are, you know, are slightly aesthetically different but have roughly the same bones and architecture and then it's kind of fun to see like how people have customized it or like what walls they've taken out etc so i was like oh this one just like got just got you know updated I'm, I'm curious what they did and it's like oh they took out this one wall which turns the kitchen into the family room into this like big open space that seems really neat and then like just as we were contemplating oh that maybe seems like a neat thing to do our house someday if we uh this yeah. ends up being the house that we have forever uh, immediately, like, I was walking the dog and saw uh, a notice from uh, the villas. It's like, yeah, this house is condemned. What? Uh, do not step foot in this house. Um, and I happened to talk to, like, a real estate agent that, like, eventually, when that the house got uncondemned, 
because it like was condemned for like six months um yeah. yeah it turns out that like a buyer came in found a shitload of mold um and it was very clear they just tried to hide it like oh um like the person who was flipping it was just hoping if we just can pass inspection uh, uh i don't think that works anymore because illinois has a lemon law now uh i know this or maybe maybe they got rid of it, but I do know for a fact that like uh, like MK's family at one point like they bought a house that was structurally completely compromised, um, huh? and like real poltergeist shit. Like the house wants yep. to collapse back into the earth, um, <laughs> and if they bought it like six months later, a law passed that it would have been on the hook of the developer who sold it. Ah, um, but that's brutal. Yeah, and so instead it was just like, you know, spending forever. Like, spend, spend the next ten years dealing with various issues as a result of this error. Yeah, and the house never like really looks finished because like you're constantly like just massive uh, brace elements are deployed just to, like hold up one of the walls because all this earth is trying to like cave in through it. Ugh. Oh yeah, just real nightmarish. So I feel like uh, so I feel like those people are like we're gonna put one over on people and get away with like selling a house with mold in it. I feel uh -huh. like that probably wouldn't have worked unless they were unless the flippers were like gonna completely disappear. Um, and, and it, may, it may be the case that like they did such a rush job that uh, you know, I, the, the person I talked to didn't have the full details. And it also may have been the case that the mold was discovered in the inspection process yeah. because they did such a rush job to flip the house. So it you know it can be bad and not as malicious as you as it could be but the the end state was the same was that the house was completely unlivable um and whatever plans that person had to make a profit by flipping it like went out the window and the house just sat unused um it's like it didn't get sold for like another six to nine months and then someone bought it and then that exact same house um Someone bought it once it got kind of cleaned up. Uh, a mother and two kids, older kids, kind of like teenagers. Uh, it caught on fire. Um, the mom wasn't home. Oh, God. Uh, an Uber driver. This doesn't end with anyone dying. Okay. Um, everyone's okay. Uh, an Uber driver was going by and noticed the house was on fire. Wait, this did I hear about this story? Maybe. Was this like a human interest story that maybe got like some national attention? No, no, okay. no, no, no. It was like but human interest. Maybe I told you on like yeah, <laughs> while we were drinking uh, at the hotel. Uh, but no, and so the um, an Uber driver goes by and notices the house is on fire. This is at the beginning of COVID. Everyone is in lockdown, so people aren't really and lockdowns are really serious in Illinois for especially the first couple of months. So you didn't have people walking around as much. So it was like right. reasonable that like something catastrophic could happen and just people wouldn't notice. And so this Uber driver sees it, calls 911, like goes in, like tells these two girls like, hey, the bottom half of your house is on fire. Um, it was it was in the same room as the furnace. Like it could have exploded. Yeah. Like it was a whole big deal. Um, but then it kind of worked out for those people. They got like their insurance relocated them. And then they basically got to completely recustomize the oh, house yeah. um, under insurance. So, you know, was it bad that the ch children were put in danger? Obviously. But... Is it kind of a dream that you get to completely customize the house top Hold on. to bottom? Patrick, stop. <gasps> Let's, buy, Let's the new washer. buy the new washer and see what happens to this. Uh, what happens to this face of the house? Dirty boy upgrade. Thank you, Elijah. V Web. All the right. DBMK2. And now we've we've got it right. Like, uh, let's see here. Uh, no, we don't. We can't afford any of the, the changes. We can't afford anything beyond just the basic shit. However. All right. So we have Hang to on. quit. Press E. 
Ooh, turn, ooh, Urban, you, oh, 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 oh. What's the, what's the oh, noise he makes? The Tim, the Tim, the tool, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo! Oh, Rob, even the base level. Oh, hell yeah. White Oh, just, yeah. Oh. oh. The dirty boys are getting clean. Just blasting. <laughs> I know Tim Allen is problematic. You don't have to remind me. <laughs> but I watched a lot of Home Improvement growing up. Absolutely. Look, For I sure. love I love everyone loves loves Raymond. Uh, Patricia Heaton turned out to be a nightmare. Is she bad? I probably know this. Oh, dude, like turn total like trad wife fountain family values trumper. Uh, oh, oh, good, yeah. good, good. I feel like I've seen her say something uniquely awful on Twitter, and I just can't place it. Yeah, no, like, dude, it's, uh, like, on a star, uh, on a cast where, like, everyone's just pretty much wall-to-wall, -wall, like, absolute kings and queens, right? Like, everybody in that show fucking rules. Uh, and, no, I mean, he was a very good a good actress. Like, she was, she, she played that sure. role great. But, like, Peter Boyle, uh, Ray Romano actually turned out to be a pretty good fucking actor. Mm-hmm. Um, if you've not seen it, Patrick, um, I think I made this rec before, but I, I, I strongly encourage you and everyone else, watch Men of a Certain Age. Uh, it's Ray Romano. Um, I've heard Andre, extremely good things about that movie. It, uh, TV show, but yeah, it's... Uh, oh, TV show, gotcha. It's Ray Romano, uh, Andre Brower, and uh, Scott Bakula as like three childhood friends sort of rounding the corner of middle age uh, in LA. And it is just one of the... Best like dramedies. Show? No, it was a show it was like on TBS or something. Yeah, right? and it like ran for two years, um, and didn't like ever really find an audience. Uh, but it is, it's incredible, dude. Um, because you see them both in like working in their best like comedic range, but also like huh. their dramatic range. And uh, as you might expect, they're all good. Uh, but. Andre Brower is just in a class of his own, right? Like, there's a couple sure. episodes where it's like, yeah, this is, this is just an elite, uh, dramatic and comedic actor. Yeah, like, he's on he's on Brooklyn Nine Nine. And the thing on, on, about Brooklyn Nine Nine, and I think this starts to. Like we're we're like on the fourth season of that show or whatever. Uh, Andre Power is just a better actor than the rest of the cast, uh, and so are a lot of the guest uh, spots they start bringing on. And uh, it does kind of just like highlight. There's a lot of funny performers on Brooklyn Nine Nine, but then Andre Brower like will just have a throwaway scene. You're like, uh, okay, ever you know what? Less of everyone else, more uh, Captain Holt. Sorry. I didn't watch that show, but it was too bad they didn't like just take the easy idea of like just transporting everyone to the post office or something. A, they could have just funny idea. kept the dynamics, uh, but got rid of the propaganda. Yeah, but I also feel like that that cast was going to start coming off uh, the rails because um, they went for like six seasons, right? Like, well, not just that, but like, what's the dude Terry? Uh, the guy who plays Terry Crews. Uh huh. Uh, also ends up being a guy who just cannot shut he the got fuck weird, up. Right? Just uh, like homophobic. Um, yeah. And like yeah, yeah, not yeah. like <laughs> it did not seem like even the most virulent form of it, but still uh -huh. just like, dude, you're on. You you are one. It's like the twenty teens, and two multiple members of this cast are queer. Right. Uh, like shut the fuck up. <laughs> right. We have suddenly gone. This job is almost done. The Dirty Boys are balling out. Oh my god! Four posts, window, window frames. All right, let's go find some windows. Does Rob know you can rotate the nozzle? Probably. Yeah, I do. Okay, just making sure. We threw a lot of mechanics at you in the beginning. I think people are just like, there's places where I'm not rotating not, where they would. And I'm just like, eh, it's yeah. fine, you know? Well, that's kind of the fun of this game, though. 
All right, window frame posts, posts. Are those right. the posts? Where is the last window? Oh, that counts as a oh, post. Oh, I got. All right, trim. I got this post. I see it. Um, that's one post. Oh, oh, this this window is not satisfactory at all. Completely substandard. Don't worry, we're getting, we're gonna we're gonna finish these together. Boom. All right, three posts. One right here. Oh, I see. Boom. Boom. Here it is. This is the last one. Right here. Oh. Woo! DB's in the chat. DB's in the chat. Just absolutely. Hey, Patrick, we're really cleaning up, huh? <laughs> this game's really good. I don't know that like I would do a bunch of this by myself. No. But like as a and for like the, the context of what we're doing right now, this is tremendously fun. All right, before we do this playground. Yeah. We got to go shopping. Okay. So my theory is people are like it'd be leery of that, that playground. I think it might be because maybe we we need some cleaning liquids. Which means uh, we need a People are pointing out make sure we don't buy anything that is for the old equipment. Yes. Like, yes. Don't so, buy soap this early. Soap is a scam. Oh, soap is a scam. Okay. Okay, but hold on. Red Core, we can't wait for the podcast intro in two months where Patrick reveals his purchased a power washer. I have a deck. I've had a power washer. I share it with my mom. We split it. <laughs> oh. Turbo yep. nozzle. Got it. Thank you. <clears throat> Uh, Long range extension? I know, man. God, we would just be like leaning back, sit down in a chair. But cannot be used when close to a surface. Soap is a money pit. Is it? But what if it's. Okay, okay. But Games hold on, Pat. Alone. Silly chat. Something being useful has. Something not being useful has never stopped Rob from spending money. LOL. <laughs> All right. Uh, the people love. The people want to see the turbo nozzle. The okay. Here's the big question: Do we want the standard turbo nozzle or the pro? We want the pro, right? We do need. Like, do we even need to ask? And oh, I can't buy it. So, do we need to start the buy playground? It. No, we it's, it's one hundred eighty, right? but it might be a stars thing, or maybe we just have that. No, no, no. We a... need the we need the urban. Ec oh, sorry. I'm looking at the soap nozzle. Oh no! I'm looking at the, I'm looking at Prime Vista shit. Okay, Urban X two U two. Okay, uh, where's the best? The Urban U X U two Turbo Nozzle. It's seventy five bucks. Yeah. Buy All right, shit. we'll just get that. Yeah. Uh, and you're. I think you're right. We want the. Uh, ooh. It's two fifty. It's sitting right there, yeah. Rob. Just get yeah. the extension. Are those? Okay. So those are gonna be. I'm gonna have to swap between those. Let's find out. Let's yeah. Get on that playground. Let's go play. Dirt Finder. I've got a frankly ridiculous situation on my hands. You see some of the some of the local children have been coming down with a curious and unsightly form of dermatitis, and a few <laughs> fretful folk have been putting it down to the condition of the recreational facilities. It's all nonsense, of course, but if we could just humor them and give the whole thing a thorough hose down, I would be most grateful. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, hey. Yeah, that doesn't... That, yeah, that looks aw dude, awful. By, like... We uh, picked up the dog from daycare yesterday, and... Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. Where's the... Uh, oh, hold on. E. Holy shit, Rob! Oh, hold on. Uh, e. Extension. This turbo nozzle, it, it's too fast. It goes in a circle. What? Can I, how far... Can I push you faster? It's pretty fast. I'm getting I'm getting buffeted here. 
But hold on, dude. Use E to hook up your extender. Okay. Uh. Oh, oh yeah. Crap. Oh, shit. Wow. Oh, this is, what's this going to say? It's like two minutes? <laughs> We're going to get rich power washing. This uh, is... I'm, start I'm starting on the merry-go-round. This whole game's a merry-go-round, my friend. <laughs> Keep doing that though. Uh, all right. Yeah. yeah oh Rob, my get god. The turbo. Rob, put on the turbo. All right. Hold on. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, this is too much. Yeah. Oh, this is just absolute chaos. Are you kidding? <gasps> but oh. wait, though. What it's doing to the underside of trim is incredible. Oh my god. Yes. I can't believe Hollywood Hold financed on. Dirty Boys 2. The Dirty Boys go turbo. Okay, so here's the thing, though. It says it can't be used close to surfaces. Oh, yeah, just because... Okay, but it's not going to damage it. Okay. Ooh, there's some good, like... There's some decent sound effects here. Mm-hmm. So, the dirty boys walk out on stage, the crowd chanting, Dirty, dirty. If I can get help get a movie called Evil Bong 3 Wrath of Bong made. Surely the Dirty Boys can star in their own show. I agree. Oh yeah. All all of the um the nozzles are like reinvigorated with life. Yeah, this is incredible. Uh, but I'm going to get up in that in that playhouse. The Dirty Boys uh, would be the kind of thing that I would pitch back when I worked at Giant Bomb and we would do the Game of the Year skits. Far and away the thing I hated doing the most at that job because I didn't think I was very funny and I found it profoundly uncomfortable to be told to be funny on camera. It was just not my natural habitat. But I can imagine Ryan Davis being a Dirty Boy. Yeah. He'd be our manager, the gritty guy telling us, uh, telling Rob and Patrick to get out there. He's 100%. mad because we dinged up a car. Client sounds satisfied. Oh, this is so satisfying. God damn. Patrick, I need to come visit you and do some house housework. I think. Yeah, like, get I, out of here. We need to. Uh, we need. I we got need some just... rooms that have needed to be painted for six years. Oh, you don't want me to paint any rooms with you? No. No. Uh, MK and I met on a painting detail uh, at school, and. Uh, and a what? Excuse me. It was a summer job. We were we were painters uh, around campus. Okay. Um. And uh, what a unique, what a unique story. That's delightful. And what she observed, <laughs> just let her know that uh, none of our spaces should ever be something that I should paint. <laughs> that is very funny. My wife and I are t perfectly fine at, at painting. Um, it's just don't have the time to to do it. Oh no, I fell out of the playset. Oh yeah, circle strafe, oh my gosh. 
There aren't that many objects that you can just like circle strafe around, but there's like this, these little details I'm grabbing. All my dings are going off. Oh, that is just delightful. It's like I'm filling in a pizza here. Oh, there's the ladder. Yeah, there we go. As the turbo was very fun to shoot, but I don't know what its usefulness is quite yet. What am I using the turbo on? I don't know. Have you used the turbo? I've been using it for like trim work. Uh, mm -hmm. So like just small areas where you need to uh, like hit it really hard. And it does well for that. Oh yeah, okay. I, I see. I see. I see. I got a spot I can use it on. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh, come on, this train has got to be just about done. This goes around the whole park. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's just do it. It'll be very satisfying yeah. and annoying when it's. Yeah, you just like, gotta. Know which spot's not gonna ding? You just gotta go through it, man. Man, there's. This there's... is intense, though, now that I'm looking at it, like a little bit Dude, longer. This, yeah, this, uh, there's a lot. It's a big job. There's a lot to be done here. The dirty boys need a family. Why is co-op two people? Yeah. Why can't co-op be eight, eight dirty boys? A family can be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I need a couple dirty children run, running around uh -huh. here, like crawling around the low spaces. They don't even get power washers. They get no. a bucket and sponges. We might just you know, strap a bunch of rags to them. And just go play. Whatever you... Whatever you touch, you'll clean up something. Oh my god, dude. We are we are in hell here. Co-op and free play, which is not what we're doing, is up to six players. Six dirty boys. We might have to think about that. But what is free play, is there no progress? It's just as dirt? What's the... Do you have goals? Do I get dings? I think... Not sure I could play this game without the dings. This roof, dude, with these slats, is going to be the fucking death of me. Oh. Free play is completed co-op missions done over. All right. So you know what to do, and then you have to bring in a bigger crew. I like it. Oh, my God. Like Ocean's Eleven, but... <laughs> the power washing. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I've been... All my life knows is going around in this trim of this playground. Yeah, this is, um... I'm, like, craning my neck. I'm getting out of my webcam frame. I am I'm sorry. earning my paycheck today. Mm-hmm. If the Dirty Boys were actually at this job, they... You know what? No one's looking. We might be drinking on the job. I'm you about to what? start. 
floor as queen! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that rule. Oh, I did it all in one go? Oh my god. Sometimes the light is catching the grime, and I think it's when I'm doing the little heat map thing. Uh huh. And I think that's still dirty, but it's not. They got ray tracing on in this game? Uh, I probably couldn't use it because my uh, graphics card is so pitiful and underpowered. <laughs> what do you have? 2080 Ti. Uh, well, that's a yeah, 2080. You know, you know you're in a bad situation when. Uh... When Patrick has a better card than you. Yeah, it starts with a 20. It's terrible. But NVIDIA helpfully reached out today. Oh, yeah. Or oh, is there, like, uh, they want you to review a card? No, they just think I might want to buy one. <laughs> they were like, hey, uh, GeForce, uh, GeForce Experience user, why don't you check out the cards in the 30 line? We recently saw you attempting to stream F1 2022, and it seems like your computer was having a little bit of trouble. It, it seems like it was causing you to uh, really whiff uh, in some embarrassing ways. Um, and it's true. I was I was in it to win it, win it and, um, yeah, I was just let down by my equipment. Yeah, the GPU Last... caused that crash. <laughs> Last Gala, Curious of Patrick thinks this is the most dad game ever made. I don't... I mean, it's up there. Um... We never, we've never... I've never played Car Mechanic Simulator, but I feel aspirationally there's, like, powerful dad energy rating off that, too. I'm sure there is. I don't... Low-key, one of the most stressful things in my life is taking the car to go get any work done, because I don't know anything about how a car works and so it's just an exercise in well tell me how much i owe this time without knowing you know i'm like i'm going to a reputable place like it's been recommended to me so i just assume that everything's cool but you know i don't know and i wish i knew maybe i need to play car mechanic simulator the, then when they come back with suggestions about how to modify my car I'll still say yes, but maybe I'll feel better about it. Oh yeah, this is this is the way. This is the way to do it. Yeah, I think one of the things that really stands between me and my dream of, like, someday having a fun little sports car that maybe I take out of the track once in a while is apparently, unless you can actually repair your own car and do basic maintenance on it, it gets pretty expensive. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm not driving in a car where I've, I've replaced the brakes. I am never <laughs> driving a car where I'm the one who's like, yeah, I, no, these brakes are going to work. I did it myself. Um, That's not a thing. Well, like, you know, like, friends of mine that have gotten into, like, pinball machines specifically, that is also oh, dude. an yeah. issue. Because now, like, 3D printing has helped some of this stuff, where there are parts you can replace yourself. But especially if you're going for the authentic feel. Um, I mean, there are people who, like, make boutique um, pieces for your pinball machines. Like, if it's made of wood and things like that. But that is just a... A money pit. Yeah, I had a, I had a friend who uh, bought a very old pinball machine, and uh -huh. like that thing was in constant state of disrepair. Um, yep. The truly incredible thing he built. Uh, this is Rabbit over at GWJ uh, back in the day. He built a um, virtual like arcade cabinet uh, thing that was laid out like a pinball table. And then oh, okay. did all sorts of haptic shit in it. Uh, that sounds fucking sick. Dude, it was unreal. Like, there was, like, a library of just an absolute shitload of pinball machines. And you just load them up, and they loaded onto the fucking, like, uh, 
like uh, I, don't, I don't remember what type of screen it was. It was, it was probably just an LCD screen. You can um, buy those now. I've like, yeah. despite not caring for pinball, like if I ever was to have something, paying three grand for one of those it was things, one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Sounds really neat. Where you can just you're just buying pinball games from a library. And well, just... so the thing that enabled this was he was in real good with um, the editors of game pro at that time this is late era game pro all right and i believe they greenlit they're like yeah just fucking expense all this and uh like they write, write a, like a feature on it yep oh wow the heyday of getting paid per word it was i mean the day was ending like the the basically it was the equipment cost is what paid for it uh because the piece was uh -huh. not was not but uh yeah my the way it was explained to me was that yes uh he had convinced them to spring for all the equipment and shit that uh, he used for incredible good for him it was an amazing it was an amazing thing it was so, it was like an absolute joy at parties the only trouble was as is often the case with these things he was the only person, like, him and his son, I think, were, like, the only uh -huh. people who really knew how to, like, get Operate. into the interface and, like, change uh -huh. tables and, like, do, if anything went wrong, how to fix it. Uh, and so it was one of those things where, yeah, it was... I'm not sure it was super useful for other people. Well, so now that's been streamlined because now, you know... Yeah. In the years since that, you know, you have like arcade one up and then like, I don't know who makes the pinball one, but you know, there's just like a storefront, you know, a steam for pinball games and they just all load up through that, that yeah. interface, which is pretty neat. need this dragon this dinosaur to ding what's up dino oh I see I see what's wrong I'm sorry I shouldn't have said anything what are you working on oh nothing See, I see. Those roofs look very nice. Look at these stairs. Dinosaur, what else are you upset about? Oh, Stegoside Clue! Game knows what's up. Feels good. Should let us have like a little jetpack. Let me buy a jetpack. We would have, you know, we would have jetpacks uh, in our society if only, if only people would let us. <laughs> okay, Elon. We'd have infrastructure that wouldn't even need jetpacks. Am I done with these rooftops? Are these rooftops a separate thing? That This is the thing I really need to... Like, is this just going to tell me when the shit is done? Tower... 
tower roofs. One of three. Fuck. Are you kidding me? I've got to figure out where... Oh, the underside. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So I might as well stay up Yeah, here. the undersides would constantly kind of... Because even though you can go prone, like, there are times where you feel like, I need to go deeper. Like, let me get in there. Let me... Give me... This is where the children would come in handy, frankly. Yeah. We're too big for some of these spots. Not my fault. I'm sorry. Wow, I didn't even know this place that was blue. <laughs> All right, can I make this jump? No. Man, this orange one is even more powerful than ever. Like, it's just... Orange is just doing the work. <laughs> Deaf Media 85, what the fuck, no blink? Yeah, exactly, this game, this game had blink? Man, the outsider would be so disappointed if this is what you used his powers for. <laughs> well, 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 Corvo, we meet again. Looks but, like, like the world is... If you actually had this game with... Like, that's all I can start imagining now is, like, how, how could you give this game weirder shit? Now, I understand the appeals that it's mundane objects, but that is that is where my mind is going. Well, imagine if they were mundane, dishonored objects. Exactly. Oh no, this weird typewriter with the orb keyboard needs to be washed. Rob, let me contr let me clean the oldest house. Oh my god, can you imagine power washing that? Oh my god, the yeah. ad restoring the brilliancy to the concrete. That's what I'm saying. This is the kind of... I would love... So you know how, like, Dead by Daylight and all these other asymmetrical multiplayer horror games always have, like... It's it, like Fortnite. It's the one spot where you're constantly seeing yeah. license crossovers. Give me Power Wash Sim franchise crossovers. Like, let me clean up the, air, the land in Fortnite. I'll clean those mountains. Let's go. I, this is a million dollar idea. This is a million dollar idea. Please. Square. Well, they published it. Forget who the developers are. Rob, you know what? Yeah. Stranger Things Season 5. The Dirty Clean Boys up. go the upside down. <laughs> We got a big job in Hawkins, fellas. <laughs> Gotta clean up that Vecna seat. <laughs> oh no. Gonna need the gonna need that turbo nozzle, Rob. You gotta cl you gotta clean the weird crevice that's opened up and like splitting through the middle of town leading to hell. <gasps> yes, like we're like yeah, let's scrub uh, it out. We're like an ARG, right? Like before the new season. I think this has potential. Someone get the Duffer Brothers on the phone. Wait, what did you write on the ground? Nothing. Death to send you? <laughs> what are you? Rob, what are you? Are you cleaning? What are you doing up here? Uh, I'm cleaning. Yes. And also, I want to clean up our politics. <laughs> Deaf me to 85 Patrick, that was already there. I fucking <laughs> the kids, wish. The kids are can all right. You, 
Can you imagine? The dirty boys get radicalized. <laughs> yes. Just some good old boys that just want a little more equity in the world. Maybe shut the fuck up about raising the pilot retirement uh, age from 63 to 65, Lindsey Graham. The guy who spent his entire middle age as a senator. <laughs> I know! The oh my fuck God. do you know about working? That angle. God damn it. When was the last time you showed up for a shift? I don't know if that, uh, what is it, John Fetterman? That's yeah. the, the guy in... I don't know if he's going to win, but boy, am I going to... I'm going to enjoy... Well, it like, seems like he shouldn't win, except for the fact that Dr. Oz might actually be really bad at this. Yes. Well, it seems, it seems to be the, the same with uh, J.D. Uh, Vance Herschel. in Ohio. Yeah. Like, and he should be cruising and probably will win. Like, just... I, I, that's going to be... How many articles are you going to read? The J.D. Vance is a terrible candidate, leaving an opening for the... The Democrat running a great campaign in Ohio, and then he loses by six points. Like, I'm sorry, but that's just what's going to happen. Uh, whereas Fetterman, I think, may actually have a shot to, to pull that off. Yeah, I'm curious how the Herschel Walker bid is going to go, too. Because, oh like, God. weird. How many, more kids fuck can, how many more children can be discovered between now and Election Day? Well, and just, like, guys got bad vibes. You know, that's, that's the vibes. other thing is, like, you just can't. It's not like it's not like funny the way a Trump press conference was before no. it all got too serious. It's yes. like, oh no 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 no, this is not. I'm not getting a kick out of this. Like this guy's give this guy. No, the there's hook. nothing funny about him being like a complete dumbass. Um, like at least Trump, you know, you know, you can. He was funny. Like it was like it was a funny train wreck that unfortunately became extremely less funny as it got more serious. But those early days, it was like, what the hell's going on here? But he has he has none of that energy. He is not charismatic. He is no. just terrifyingly dumb. Well, I mean, yeah, I and mean, you can't like part of like Trump's like the gifts he had as a politician were partly he could be wildly uninformed and clearly a dumbass. But like, there's something kind of like, yeah, I'm a bullshitter, and that's kind of thing, right? Like, yep. American politics has ample room for bullshit artists, mm -hmm. and like Trump is the king of them. Uh, but like. What, when you see Herschel Walker, you're like, nope, this is not this is not a bullshit artist. This is a guy who's like, all right, man, uh, how do I get out of this conversation as quickly as possible and <laughs> never get near you again? Yep. Rob, people weren't joking. We're forty four percent through this job. No, we're we're cruising, man. We I think we broke his back. We we've, we've done a lot of tough detail work. We have. We I I agree. Uh, we've created a message that's resonating with the people. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, how, do we just accept the fact that we're not going to clean up that part of the floor? No, we're, we'll get to it eventually. But everyone will know. I do feel like I'm getting better at just, like, identifying and cleaning the dirt in a way that I don't have to use the, the monitor as much, which is like, it's really satisfying to get the ding on something just through uh, eyesight alone. Yeah. Now I'm sure the advanced machines we're using are helping in that regard, but nonetheless. Cargo net clean. I can't believe they were letting people play on this playground, Rob. No, it's a little alarming. <laughs> it's horrifying. What did they say? They were the kids were coming back. Kids with? were coming back with skin condition, dermatitis. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> 
Like, if you told me halfway through this level it turns into a sci-fi game because the goop comes alive, I'd believe you. Oh man, these little the, oh these little slats in the thing are gonna be a nightmare. <gasps> Never mind, got it, nailed it. I'm gonna live forever. All right, so yellow house roof all done. Yeah, we, um, me and up from daycare the other day, and we're kind of worn, like, yeah, she, um, one of the dog walkers came back, and, like, she was covered in blood, <laughs> and, uh, Mina has, like, a little wart on her paw, uh, that she, uh -huh. like, worried and, and ripped open and just started bleeding like a sieve, Ew. and so now it's like, hey, uh, you need to get your dog, just, like, go deal with this, this little wart, uh, maybe don't bring her back to daycare for a minute. Uh, uh huh. But yeah, is that is it's, that a, a thing you just wait to have healed or? No, we're treated. No, we're taking to the vet. I got um, you. But like, it's so hard to get a vet appointment right now. Like, there's like a nationwide vet shortage. Probably because it's an emotionally searing job that doesn't pay a lot. Hmm. Yeah, I would imagine. Yeah, you don't hear. <laughs> there are lots of rich doctors. You don't hear a lot about a lot of rich vets. No, and it's like a doctor. It's Despite like the fact that the vet costs a lot. Like insur pet insurance doesn't do a whole lot for you. Right, and then veterinary medicine is just like pets die right and left. Like just the the reality of it is, a ton of your job is like routine, multiple times a day. And uh, yeah, shock shockingly, some of you are like, so wait, I need to be emotionally scarred uh, even in the training process. And, like, have to deal with the trauma of families, and it pays what? No. <laughs> oh my gosh, Rob, each of these tic-tac-toe things is its own clear. Oh, hell yeah. Oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna have a moment over here. Noises. Don't let these noises. <laughs> My uh, youngest we picked her up from daycare. And, I don't know, sometime this week, and she was there. You know, you have to fill out like a, you know, or sign an incident report if they get hurt or they hurt someone else. And like, oh, can you sign this? And and normally with my kids, it's them getting something happening to them, and they're like, oh, yeah, your daughter bit someone or got she got bit. And I was like, oh, okay, like that's not a big deal. Did like it break the skin? Yada yada. And I'm like, no. But she just, like, wallops someone. I was like, why? They're like, they took a toy. And I was like, yeah, she deserved to get bit. Yep, 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 yep. Sometimes you just need to, uh... You gotta learn a lesson the hard way. Yep. You can't just wallop somebody. You don't know what they're gonna do. No. No, you cannot. Fucking red house, Jesus Christ. Man, this one's gonna be. There are so many fucking crannies, dude. Have we even touched that stegosaur? Oh, you did? Oh, wow, did, yeah. dude. Oh, that stegosaurus. The last, thing, last thing we're gonna do is probably that floor. Um, yeah. It just wasn't even worth me messing with because, like, there's just so much volume. I was like, I'll just, we'll just do that last.
clean up this slide. Love a good slide. Love a good red slide. Man, this makes me want to build a playset. You no. Patrick, let's go it out and build a playset. I'm gonna no. I'm gonna come out. We're gonna build we're gonna build a playset. You and me, we can build a great playset. Grayson never, never happened to me was my becoming friends with somebody two houses down that has a playset so that I never have to put one into my yard. Yeah. Not that I would have put it together myself anyway. I would have yeah, I would have no. paid someone to do that. Drop down menu that says pay two hundred dollars for someone to do two days of work for you. Well, that seems like I'm undervaluing their time, but I'm not going to do it myself. They're horrifying. Yeah? Yeah. You don't feel like you, like you learn sorts of different sort of joints? Don't need it. What, how does that knowledge ever help me again? That's true. That's true. Does it <laughs> Team Andrew, does it take longer to build a playset or a keyboard? Frankly, probably the sim same amount of time. If we're being honest. What? Alright, hold on here. Man, I don't think there's any equipment that can help this. I was kind of, I was kind of thinking like maybe there's something we could buy that makes this less. Oh yeah, we uh, do have. Yeah, we do have money. Yeah, but there's just not. Nothing that's gonna. Well, unle the unless the soap people are lying to us, which they might be. Get some soap. Give I'm it a not shot. I'm not sure we have soap money is, is the problem, but let me let me just see if uh, if there's something we can do here. People are just saying the problem with soap is not that it's not useful, but it's a it's a money sink. Like you're just maybe you just have to be efficient. Mm. Oh no! So yes, this does seem like a game in which you should be very careful about your shots. Oh yeah, we're just we're getting whole undercarriage here. Really, really rinsing this out. Did you buy soap? Nope. Okay. Can't, we we don't have soap money, dude. Is soap we, expensive we, too? The attachment to dispense the soap is. Oh right. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Sometimes I do miss washing a car. There's just like nowhere I can do it. Like, right. You know, I'm, the car I, sits I and the car ability. sits outside anyway. So like, I'll be like, man, right. that car looks mighty nice. Day For later, 24 it looks like hours. shit. Yeah. Yeah, I always go to the. There's this very funny. Um, I'm sure these are common everywhere, but uh, you know there are these places that specialize in like three dollar car wash. And really, you're if you get that, you you might as well just not get the car wash. You know, you should yeah. be spending at least ten no, or fifteen dollars. You, you know, do if you don't that, want yeah. all the fancy doodads. But this place, like, put in. Their whole claim to fame was it's three dollars and like that's what all their signage was and then they changed their payment machines and they no longer offer a three dollar option so there's just they so they changed their signage, signage right they didn't buy new signage they just put like trash bags over the three dollar incredible <laughs> it makes me laugh every and the machines are so much worse half the time they have to have someone out there to Oh, just help you slide oh wait, the did they? Okay, so the uh, parking garage near me uh, that just opened up, they were like, there's built in plate reader in here. So, like, you just like pay your tab uh, and at the machine, and then you just drive out because the plate reader will know you're paid for. Everyone who's stupid enough to believe that lie, uh, <laughs> you just end up seeing them like having a complete meltdown uh, at the little, like, uh, speaker 
as they're uh-huh. like calling for help because like I paid and it just won't let me out. I need to go home. Let me out. Uh, and it's like no. Oh my god. Yeah, and I'm sure this place spent like a lot of money on these new machines, and it's like ruined their branding and made them like the whole way that these high volume, low cost places work is on the volume part. Like, um, and they can't, they can't really do that part as much anymore. No. And there's a million of them. So it's like, they're, they're, they're profiting on volume and proximity, but then they also have to know that, well, there's just another one of these down the street. Yep. Cause there's just a, just a thousand of them in suburbia. Yeah. But I still go to that one cause it's the closest. Speaking of scams, um, yeah, there there was a uh, grocery store, and like the lines weren't that bad, but uh-huh. they, they had, uh, someone had been clearly making a push because there were multiple people working the uh, floor that day, going up and down the lines, telling people, "Hey, you know, there's not much of a line at the self checkout. We get you out of here mm-hmm. a lot faster." Mm-hmm. And the hostility with which those people and that suggestion was encountered. Uh, was truly breathtaking. Like, just going over, hey, you know, you use the self-checkout. Yeah, someone going to bag my groceries for me? Well, no, it's all... <laughs> then no. No, I'm going to wait here in line. Oh, that is so funny. You, wanna, you wanna, want me to get out of here quicker? Why don't you go over and open up their till? It was well, very that, close so to having, like, very close to riot conditions. It was great. Our, our local Costco... Re- Costco started implementing, like, self-checkout, which... Is like the funniest thing in the world because the whole thing about Costco is that you're buying a bajillion things. Yeah. Like that's the constant. And so the idea that like the self checkout is a more efficient way of doing anything is just crock of shit. Right. I love Costco. Most of their things are data driven, like efficiencies. But this is just like, what? It- you're not self checking out a Weber grill. Yeah. Or, or like, you know, 12 bottles of wine and like, what, like, what are we doing? What are we doing yeah. here? And like nobody goes to the Costco to buy one thing. It's it's the no. antithesis of the concept of the place. And then like the anti theft shit on self checkout is so aggressive that like anything that you uh. would naturally do to make it easier to like manhandle your fucking groceries, it's like Hold on, that's that's an item in the bagging area. Yes, yeah, the only place I put stuff down, asshole. Yeah, love, uh. to go, love to accidentally go to the self checkout with some cold medication for your wife and like a six pack for yourself, and then have to wait as like they have to come over three different times to help you just get yep. through the process of checking out. Ooh, got a lot of dings over there. Oh yeah, dude, all these slaps are like individualized. We're just. We're just going wild over here. Man, these kids are going to have such a good fucking playground now. <laughs> they should let us play on it afterwards. Give me a little cutscene where I see the kids on it. Hey, what was... So, Patrick, when you were growing up, what was Blind Man's Bluff called? I think it was called that. What are the alternatives? Uh, where I grew up, people called it crap. Because uh, it was crap? like... Yeah. Or, or uh, like... Occasionally, if the if the uh, like I keep wanting to call them wardens, but you know the little playground supervisors, uh-huh. uh, if they were around, it'd be like Marco Polo. Uh-huh. Uh huh. But yeah, it was like um, God, what was the thing? It would be like can't remember what you had to shout because I think the person who was it just got to repeat the word crap again and again and again. Um, which I played the game before I knew what the word was. Uh, so the uh-huh. transgressiveness of it was lost on me. Okay. Um, but did you have a, mo- I, uh, I can't remember what, oh, I do remember what word it was. I, um, I didn't know what the word bitch meant, but I knew that it was derogatory, but I, I came home one day and just called my mom a bitch thinking I was being like kind of cute and funny and just watched my mom erupt at me. Oh my and God. Was like, oh. And then I explained to her, like I learned that down the street at the friends. I was just like, Oh yeah, they do swear. At th- yeah. Okay. Well, please don't do that again. That was really upsetting. Um, but also yes, at that house, 
there are a lot of older kids that are constantly saying things that it would be hard at, at my age to discern what is the level yes. of severity of this word. But yeah, but I don't recommend calling your mom a bitch. Like, not, uh... <laughs> not necessarily a way of getting in her good graces. No, but I mean, you know, eventually you gotta. <laughs> yeah, it's just a rite of passage where <laughs> it's like you Comes are not. Time for every you child. are not letting me actualize, uh, and I don't have the word for that yet. But what I do have the word for is bitch. So. <laughs> huh? Guess what, Mom? It's time for us both to erupt into tears at each other. But I'm just saying, this playground looks like an awesome place to play like Marco Polo. We did play a lot of Marco Polo. A game that early on teaches you uh, that sometimes the entire design of the game is based on cheating. Yes. Because if people did not cheat at Marco Polo, there'd be a lot more dead kids on playgrounds. It's <laughs> a good point. Good point. All right, we're getting there. You can, like, see it. Ooh. Ooh. Oh yes, dude, I'm I'm in heaven over here. Just sheer ecstasy. Yeah, anytime you can find one of those ones that rewards you for Oh you oh you're you're paying off the slats that I clean from the outside. Hey, dirty boy teamwork. I didn't even <laughs> know they were working together. Glad that made you happy. Oh my god, though, I think I'm staring at the fucking power washing so long my eyes are, like, dazzled. <laughs> oh, come on. Clean up. Thing for me, baby. goes there we go clean this a little bit of that see this is a very satisfying moment where like us doing different things are now paying off in combos yeah. as you finish the upper level and that rules that feels really good Hold on, though. I need to go down this slide. What parts? Come on. There it goes. Going up, going on up. Yep. Get on up there, big boy. All right. Oh, no. There we go. Man, I'm just blind firing this thing now. Mm-hmm. Oof. I 
Okay, step away one second. Got you, Rob. Rob's gonna be so proud when he comes back. He's gonna miss these dings, but that's okay. Oh, look, I'm paying off all these dings that Rob did in the center. Oh, it's so good. Uh, this one too. We ding, ding for me. Thank you. Uh, wish will start, man. I got a power my deck. Is all I'm thinking about now. Yeah, my, it's my deck. Doesn't really need that. We got it stained and treated, and so now, like, you could either lightly power wash it, or more likely, what you should do is like get soap and, um, you know, like just hand wash it, um, or like have a uh, if your power wash can go on a really light setting, which the cheaper one I have can't. I mean, I think, I, or maybe I just need to get a different nozzle. Um, they probably sell different ones. Um, Do we go to Beer Town? Seltzer Town? Uh, Beer Town. Beer Town. Yeah, look, you, we, Rob is not going to make... Rob, all Rob's talk of, uh, you know, trying to slow down my drinking during the day. Oh, no, my friend. Oh. It's the Sam non-alcoholic. I should oh. show the brand. Yeah. Yeah, people... I, uh, I've had a lot of friends um, rave about the Heineken Zero. Um, if you like, like, a Pilsner. Um, yeah. Like apparently it tastes just like a Heineken, but obviously without the the beer part um, or the the alcohol part. Yeah. Apparently it's pretty good. Yeah. Um, can I start with the like? MK was enjoying them, uh, mm -hmm. but they started. It appeared to like that they were acting as migraine triggers. Um, oh no! Which is not anything against them, like. Everything is a mind tr my, migraine trigger uh, sure. with the way, like, M MK's chemistry works. Uh-huh. Um, but, like, this one, yeah, like, but it tastes great. It's, like, it's a pretty solid beer, uh, the, the Sam, just the Haze. So, yeah, it's, like, totally decent. Um, so, a decent option. Unfortunately, it's the only beer in the house right now because gotcha. I have just not... I've been meaning to. Yeah, mm -hmm. I just... Well, and my... Oh, I was really hoping the tic-tac-toe th toe thing would spin. It doesn't. That it's would have, like... my heart. Um... I know, I know. We're getting pretty close on this playset. Oh, I... No, shit. All right, yeah. There's a. I left myself a big job up there, Patrick. Yeah, I'm seeing that, dude. The roof, the roofs are intense. I did that whole roof. I'm gonna work on getting all these outsides for you. All of that, this part except the roof is done. There's probably some small stuff that I don't see. Does that mean it's time to start doing the uh, the ground, Patrick? The big play player. We're getting close. We're I think we're we're getting awfully close. There's a big chunk of the playground here that we just sort of missed that I'm doing now. But not it's gonna it's going pretty fast. So you got this. If 
this is still okay oh I need the ladder for this oh yeah that ladder is just set up for right there Oh yeah, we see the problem no, here. No fuck. Shit, Patrick. What? I fell off the roof. Oh, and you got to get back uh, up. You got to get the ladder back over here. Are you good? Are you in place? You good? Uh here. I'll I'll, I'll set it down to you. Yeah. There you go. It's over here. I'm just trying to do the f yeah. The flash. What else we missed? Oh, which is Oh. All right. Didn't finish these little climbing apparatus. Uh, Ooh. That's weird. Okay. Hold on. Doesn't like that ladder placement. Okay. Climbing pole done. Ooh. This one just needs a little bit. A little TLC. Yeah, I think we're, we're making some progress here. Oh, we're good. 72? I, I feel like the vast majority of this 30% is going to be this floor. Yeah, All I haven't right, checked I mean, the, the bill of work yet, but the statement of work, what the fuck you call it. You know, the thing that contractors have that says everything needs to be done. Uh-huh. I'm not going to stress that until we work. Work. do that yeah. ground. Got to get everything here. Yeah, I think the net. This this is a very delightful stream. We're gonna have to do some more. The dirty boys are gonna have to return. Yeah. But I think we might have to do like a like a question bucket thing. Get some people to send us some questions. Give us some some prompts to work on. That's very true. So we'll do that next time. I've got that Google form that people can just dump into. Bench cleaned. All right. Anything else I can do around here? The outside, one more trash can. Uh, King Elias twenty six. How many people can call up at one time? Might be fun to just have the whole crew. Yeah. So like, what would need to sort so that it wasn't like completely boring? Uh, I think. I, well, I don't know. I don't know if you do. You have to unlock it in single player. For it to work in multiplayer, I don't know. My impression to do the six-player thing was that you need to complete it in career mode, but um, I could be if I'm wrong about could that. Could be mistaken. Because yes, it would be fun to have the whole waypoint crew, um, be not a single job. I agree. Yes, Natalie Watson. She wants to be a dirty boy. Dirty boy, dirty girls, dirty whatever. Come one, come all. The only requirement is a desire to get dirty. And yet through our labors, all are cleansed. We right, wash we away. This long distance power wash on your roof. See if I can help. I think the, I, I think the underside of the slats, definitely. Yeah, there we go. There it is. Okay, Rob, I think it's... Uh... I'm sure we missed a couple, but let's, I think it's floor time. Yeah, let me just see. Is it is the floor basically what's left? Uh, tower trims, Patrick. Two of nine. You want to do literally everything before we touch the ground? Okay. All right. I'm just curious what percentage of this is the job is the floor. Large know? bridge slats. Thirteen of fourteen. Large. Which? Uh, oh, I see. You know what though? I think this, you're right though. This is gonna be easier if we do the the ground because the ground makes it impossible to see what's left to be done. That's what I mean. Yeah. All right. Let's just go to work. Oh, 
Oh, you know, I didn't really notice before that there are individual meters for the sections. Did you notice that in the upper left-hand corner? When you're spraying on an object, it's identified. Oh. And you're filling that. Holy yeah. shit. Yeah. That is super useful. Because that's actually identifying for you the thing I was talking about, where, like, oh, when you go into Batman detective mode, that is there. It's just... It's just not with the, 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 the dirt stuff. Oh, well, yeah, chat's very upset. You know what, chat? I'm sorry. I should. I, I wish I had known that earlier. It's not where that statement was going. Look, sometimes UI I elements are extremely useful, and they're also out of the way, and you can kind of just, like, not see them. Sorry that I was just having so much fun talking to my friend and colleague, yeah. Rob, that I didn't fully internalize the UI of the game. My notes apology is coming soon. <laughs> mm. But that is satisfying to know exactly what you're working on. It almost makes it like easier for these big ones. Because you're actually not cleaning the whole floor, you're just cleaning the... Right. The individual component of it. So, that is useful to know. Come on, green circle. Let's pop. Yeah, I was just noticing that the progress bar unfills? Uh-huh. Yeah, also, yeah, the uh, somebody's noting uh, the upper left. Also tells you what is the best soap type to use. Except everyone just keeps telling us to not use soap. Hold on, but now we... Hold on, hold on. Are you going to buy soap? Yeah. Okay. Buy the soap attachment. Urban. Buy it. All right, now, can I afford the soaps? All right, so hold on here. What, uh, let's see here. Wiling 95, think of it as a filth bar instead of progress. <laughs> Multi-purpose solution. Okay. Multi-purpose. Perfect. Alright, now. Hell yeah, okay. You buy some soap? Yeah, now let's, cleaned up. let's see what happens here. Put, now, this is like putting on a like an Armani suit when it comes to cleaning. You don't want to do it all the time, but sometimes the, the job demands it. Are you watching Better Call Saul? Are you caught up on no. the show? Okay. Well, Sorry, man. I I'm hear not going to spoil anything, but just Armani suit will mean something to people who have watched the newest episode. We'll not say anything else. No, wait. My message. It's still there. All right, how much is left of my little... Oh, no. <laughs> Are you just burning through our fucking soap? No. Uh, maybe. Uh... I feel that could have been a little more whelming. So, so some people are saying, like, it's most useful for, like, you know, like, when you take off that top layer with, like, the with the, with the the white nozzle. Um, and then you have rust underneath. Yeah. And that, like, it's just, it just, just cr cruises through rust. Yeah, because it did not, I, I mean, it... It cleared a lot of grime without a lot of effort. I will I will give it that. But also, you know, I'm here for the love of the game. 
Did it really save me labor or did it rob me of joy? That's just politics, baby. Ooh, that large red floor. We counting down. That grime meter headed towards zero. You know, when I think about playground games, though, all the ones we'd like to play were the ones that were, like, dangerous, and they were like, don't do that. And eventually, they just cracked down so much on, on recess shit that, like, there was nothing to do outside. Mm. Which it, ones are they cracking down on for you? I mean, Marco Polo, was they knew you were playing it, uh, yeah. they they would come and come and say something uh they really did not like kids playing football um that makes sense yeah it makes sense but also you know they're like kids just want to kids hit were, the kids were like eight like it wasn't like people were actually getting like good form tackles done it was just kids knocking into each other and having a great yeah, time we should probably we should probably play dodgeball instead and just whip balls at each other's faces and just hope that works out yeah but also we're gonna make it even weirder from like a social dynamics perspective so yeah i don't know it was just um like a thing they also like whenever they plowed the parking lots um in like when there was snow huh? you'd have you'd have a snow mountain right yeah and what was better than playing king of the hill on a snow mountain oh nothing, nothing. Rob. let me nothing. tell you nothing yeah and they were just like no don't do that shit oh did you throw a snowball oh brr. Rab, I, it's Recess a, privileges revoked. You, your school sounds a little. Dude, that was where everything was going, though. Like I, I, like I fully believe this is this is the same sort of shit that's like, you can't let kids go like play unattended across the neighborhood. You can't let them go like cycling across town. Well, problem with that is kids don't know how to bike these days, so. <laughs> I think they had to teach the Stranger Things, uh, Stranger Things kids how to bike. It's like, hey, part of the 80s pastiche is that you bike. That's what was in the Spielberg movies. Right, but you don't know how to bike e because there's no longer point in learning to, learning to do it because it doesn't actually like give you mobility. Well, that's, that is part. That is, that is definitely part of it. But, like, I mean, Rob, part of it is that even if you are the type of parent, like my wife and I have tried to be, um, you are also at the whims of other people thinking you're oh, yeah. a bad parent. Oh yeah, for sure. So you can be the, like the kind of parent like, yeah, my kid is almost six. I basically trust them to kind of like walk within a block radius and I'm just not going to worry about it once they've told me where they're going. And also as a parent, I'm trying to train myself to be okay with that so that my kid learns how to be independent. But then you're at the whims of other parents being like, where, where are you supposed to be? Like where are your parents? Uh, and so you can you can run into issues even if you are trying to trying to break the cycle. And that's why you need to like teach your kids useful phrases early on. Like, what are you, some kind of fucking cop? You know, and that'll that that'd dry up the neighbor, right? <gasps> oh, where where are your mom and dad? Fuck is it to you? Where are you going? Why do you want to know? Rob, we went from that conversation was so scintillating. Have you seen? Have you seen our numbers? What? No. Ninety-seven. Nobody's watching anymore. Oh no. No, I meant ninety-seven percent. No, our our stream numbers are great. No, they. I, I thought you meant ninety-seven viewers. It's like, man, people just fled. People no, were like, oh, I can't. No. This has been the, they're criticizing successful streams. They're criticizing good parenting techniques now. I do not <laughs> abide this. You can't let the kids play King of the Hill in the snow. <laughs> One of your grade school teachers like just happened to stumble upon you because their grandkid is into Twitch. They're like, oh, I'm gonna check in on Rob. Hey, oh, I was the one constantly telling him to get. Sorry, if your if your grandma is Mrs. Wojcik, uh, <laughs> like I hate to tell it to you, but like, she was a bitch. We all hated her, um, and she hated us. So unlike telling my mom that she is one, but th this is the appropriate use of the word. Yeah, no, for for sure, it was like, like it was 
well, working as a prison warden means the commute's too long, but if I'm just, like, a recess monitor, I can do whatever I want. Uh, <laughs> and so it was just, like, getting swooped down on and screamed at uh, by by a very angry uh, lady. Um, let's see. Green floor has just a little bit left. Although the thing is, having said that, it is possible that they knew we were playing those games all the time, and they only called us out on it when it was clearly becoming a problem. But that is because the games would also be like rising to the most awesome crescendo. Like, sorry, like the King of the Hill game is just better when people are getting bodily flung off the lower summit. Large bridge slats. Rob, there's one over here. Also, Rob, my fingers hurt. Uh, what, what kind of mouse are you using, buddy? I'm not oh, are you using... not using your right click? I am, but I'm just... This game is making me use a mouse in a way that I... I don't normally. Where is that one? I guess I'll just spray indiscriminately. Large bridge. Large bridge? Is this the large bridge? The, yeah, this is the short I think bridge. large bridge is this one this right is, here. This yeah. is the one, yeah. All right, you spray inside. I'll spray outside. But I don't see any evi evidence There's of the, some, some the dirt. out of place. There it Got is. It. Got it. Did you find it, or do you right. just, just luck I out? I don't know. No idea. Tower, Tower floor, floor undersized. Get under there, dirty boy. Tower lower wall. Oh, I see it. Got him. Tower trim. So there's another tower floor underside? Okay. Maybe it's... Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. Got that. Power trim. Can't. Power lower wall. What's considering the trim? That's the support struts. That's the... It's a vertical strip. Is the trim these blue ones? Maybe it's one of these. I don't fucking know. To me, this all looks like trim. Yeah. I'm, what well, am I? Saying, some sort of fucking carbon? Lower, oh, tower trim could be anything. What? Tower Shit. lower wall. This is a nightmare. All right. Well, we just need to get down there. Oh wait, hold on, Rob. Remember, it identifies it, right? In the UI, upper left, so yeah. lower wall, right? So that's 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 helpful. Um, so all of these bottom ones are lower wall. Got him. Got that fucker. Got him. All right, now tower trim. Yeah. Which is. I haven't even moused over anything that says trim. <gasps> Wait, it's this base. It's these base elements. These baseboards. You're right. Okay, which one though? I don't know. I'm just gonna get Shit, after all a of lot it. Of this. All right, I'm, I'm gonna you spray. I'm gonna look around. Oh no, my tab key. <laughs> Did it fall out? Look, the Moonlander has some quirks. The <laughs> things that make it modifiable and configurable. What right, was that one? Here. Hey, dirty boy, get over hey, yeah, here. Yeah, 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 yeah. What we got? What we got? What we got, cuz? We got. You know what this game is missing, Rob? What? I want the thing like an apex where I can click my mouse and I want to I want to be able to like targets. Oh, like, look, get over here. This is what we're spraying. Is this one right here? Got nice. It. And that. Oh, look at this fucking is dirty, playground. That is, a, that is a job well done, DBs in the chat. Please. 
Shout out to your dirty boys. Also, if there's someone in the Waypoint community that wants to do a drawing of Robin Eyes the Dirty Boys, please, I would, I would, I would accept with open arms. I didn't say anything. I just put it out into the world. We'll see what happens. Um, it was really good, and we like it. We might commission it. You know, exactly. We do that. 100. We got money for that. We're not, gonna, um, we're not gonna sell on it, but like, if there's something we like, hey, them Dirty Boys is cool. Them Dirty Boys is cool. Uh, there, there are some was... things on the commission, regardless, because I think it would be awesome. Yes, this was really fun. Um. I think I've hit my limit. Like, I don't know that I could do another one and enjoy it at the moment. No, but that, no, I need a little break. I need a dirty break. But then, like, two and a half, like, two, two and a half hours. Like, Look, this one was just a little too long. If it had been about half the time, I, I think it would have been perfect. I, I think that what this game needs is some built-in, like, if, if, this, if, if we're really dirty boys, mm -hmm. this is where we go to a bar. Mm-hmm. And we go hang out mm -hmm. or watch a ball game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Rob, can we just see what our options are yeah. next before we oh, wait. Uh, sign Hold off? Hold on, we today. have a little time lapse thing. Oh, yeah, let's see it. Oh, it's beautiful, dude. Oh, my God. <sighs> I can't wait till we get to the floor. And oh, that's so good. Yeah. Yeah, that was oh. great. Why can I not export that as a GIF? All right. So we got an easy one, a golf cart. Hey, Patrick, looks like uh, this is hey. what you brought back in from your Clean outing. the detached house. I know you like to just get fucked up at the golf course <laughs> and then just like leave the shit I do. in a shambles. I do. I just hit a seven iron over and over again because it's my best club. Um, hey, tin cup, man. Guy knew what's uh, up. Yeah. Well, this was this was extremely good. The Dirty Boys will ride again. I think we we have to. The people demand it. I want to do more of it. Um and uh so we'll be back. Not this yeah. week, but we'll we'll come back next week. Um yeah. and what else we got going on? Tomorrow. So I think Ren and I are play some Homeworld Deserts of Croc. Um cuz it's made by the same people who made Hard Space Shipbreaker. Um or at least there's some there's some crossover between those teams. I think those are both Blackbird. Uh, are they projects. working on Homeworld 3, the new one? They are. They are. Um and yeah, the game's also just beautiful. Like I think it's one of those things where if you are kind of agnostic about RTSs, this one is it's not like, oh, it's a gateway drug that gives a shit. It's just a great game, and it tells a good story, and it's really pretty. So I think it's worth uh, taking a look at because um, they, they understand a lot of the things that are fun about the Rob, RTS. Rob, I, I just can you please – do you have the chat in front of you? Uh, yeah. Can you please read Poobah Peeba? Before the stream ends, I need to say my friend is literally the grandchild of a Mrs. Wojcik who was a cheat teacher. <laughs> Probably not the same, Mrs. Roach. Probably not, but uh, you know, who could say? could say? Let's not solve that mystery. Let's, let's not, just leave that let's one. Let's not do it. We don't need to. That person probably just joking. Definitely, <laughs> uh, definitely, no chance that I was talking no shit. No chance that someone is going to clip that and send it. Uh, she, uh, yeah, she died last year. Uh, it it destroyed us to hear that about her. We we always thought like those kids loved her. <laughs> fan favorite was always getting voted at the end of the year alright All right, so you're going to do that with Ren Thursday yeah. I'm kicking off uh, a multi-part series you need Elden, to that All fucking Day, game. Elden, Elden Ring I'm going to beat that game on stream turn it into content I'm going to play uh all day uh, on Thursday it won't always be on Thursdays we record the podcast on Thursdays it's most likely that'll become like a a Wednesday thing would be my would be my guess, um, uh, or a Tuesday thing. I don't know. We'll figure that out going forward. But like once a week, I'm gonna play Elden Ring for as long as I can. When I wake up with my coffee, and then end, end my day when I gotta go pick up my kids. Uh, and uh, we are just gonna pick at that until I beat the game. I'm like 40, 50 hours in. I've uh, made it through. It was a Volcano Manor? I think it was the last major thing I did. I'm off to the capital city. Um, we're gonna respect my character. Uh, mess around with it and 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 keep playing through that. Uh, Elden's Day, that's pretty good. Uh, I am 3D Homer, about halfway. Yes, I think about halfway through the game. Um, and then on Friday, Ren's Blockbuster. Um, don't know if Legal signed off on that name, but I've said it too many times, and now it is stuck. Uh, if you listen to the podcast, you have heard Ren many times tell the story of 
being at a video store, plucking a game off the shelf and playing it for like an hour. And I've asked Ren to come up with a list of games that she vaguely remembers and has fond memories of, but doesn't really remember anything about and would like to revisit. And so her and I and uh, presumably other members of the Waypoint crew are going to be joining her on that journey um, into a Ren's blockbuster. Uh, we're doing that on Friday. And that's a lot of streaming. That's a, For a week that Kata was gone, Rob, Kata leaves, tells us how to stream? We just turned into goblins. Just unleashed. Just unleashed. We did this all by ourselves. Big boys, dirty boys, streaming by themselves. What's that? What's that show on Netflix? Everyone loves old enough or big enough? I don't know. It's the sure. it's the one about kids doing errands. That's us in streaming. <laughs> like it's it, it's oh the it's the Japanese reality show. Yeah, I wanted yeah. to watch that show so bad. Yeah, old this enough. is yes. this is absolutely this is absolutely us now that we've been handed the keys to to all the the, the waypoint powers. Uh, so yeah. Um, oh man, yes. Uh, people are saying Ren's childhood game picks are going to hurt me. I will not tell you the game we're going to do. I will save that announcement for later, but I will list a different game off here. And again, the context of this was games from your childhood that you want to revisit, such as doo -doo 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 -doo, Sleeping Dogs. <laughs> That's not true. You're lying now. That's bullshit, right? Fuck you. We're doing Sleepy Dogs? We're not. I'm just saying that's God damn it. a game on the list. I, I don't. I haven't determined how we're going to go through the list. That list is not finalized. I just asked yeah. her to come up with a list of games that she thinks would fit the feature. And uh, I'm just saying, Perfect. normally when we think about that feature you're thinking of we're gonna play Mega Man 2 yeah it's SNES like, games and shit yeah no uh huh nope nope um Deus Ex Brock and ageism is wrong but Ren is too young sorry yes that is the and I think pairing someone like myself with her for that feature is a good way to go about that so oh no Nickus 10 year old games like Goat Simulator fuck it alright Rob take us out of the stream thanks for watching yep, thanks for waiting for us pack it in Waypointplus.com. We're near 500 episodes. Maybe something special will happen at 500. Stay tuned. Maybe Find not. We're bad at planning. Later. Who knows? Mm. All made possible. Waypointplus.com. Hope you enjoy. Waypointgeneralstore.com. Get some stuff. Bye.